Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another stream and another episode of Ender Lily's Quietest of the Nights. How's everyone doing today? It's a Monday. It's a Monday. So, you know, start of the week. Uh, the weekends always go by so quickly, especially considering I feel like the only day that I really just sit down and relax and not do anything is Sundays. <laughs> I'm always busy otherwise, so like, oh, I, I, I one day that that one day just really like throws me off R really throws me off also oh no we're having some uh, connectivity issues i was i was trying some things okay so yeah last time that we streamed we uh we, we did uh, dark souls right uh, on friday we did dark souls 2 on friday and i wanted to see how some things was going to work out i was going to see if i could um because there's this like weird pass through thing i forget what it's called exactly but um like, I changed that, and I was like, oh, it's, yeah, today it's fine, you know, not a single dropped frame on Friday, amazing. But today, uh, apparently we've already dropped 200 frames, although I don't know if it's been a, a, a problem. Because, I mean, I've uh, also decided to, like, up my my, my system, right? I, started, I decided to upgrade my, uh, the, the, the bitrate that I was sending. Because, like, I was watching the, 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 the drunk souls back through, and I was like, ah, sometimes it gets a little pixely, like, it's not a huge deal. No, you're just gonna get that. It's just like, whenever a lot of things are moving on screen at the same time, things are just gonna get a little pixely. It's it's why games are so big nowadays, because the bitrate in, in those games is huge. It's absolutely massive. But, uh, so yeah, I was like, oh, you know, I'll upgrade my uh, sent a bitrate to 7,500 instead of the 6,000. So, uh, it's, uh, you know, a little bit more. So I'm sending a little bit more bitrate today. And it seems to be dipping a little bit, which is... Not ideal, but I don't know. We'll, we'll go for a little while. Let's see what what happens. I might have to change that uh, pass through thing again to to a different setting because there's like three settings that I could change it to. And I was like, uh, this one, sure. Oh, okay, that one's not being a good. Okay, uh, change it to this one. Okay, uh, maybe it's good, maybe it's not. <laughs> also, OBS did have an update, so I don't know. I don't know. There's always something going on with these uh, with these games. Also, did you see that playtime? 16, 16, 16. That is kind of insane. That, that's kind of insane playtime. Pretty, pretty incredible. But either way, how you we doing, succulents and suchiko? Glad to see. Thanks for stopping on by. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But yeah, we're we're playing some Ender Lilies today, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Let me know how the stream quality is, because I yeah, like that's the thing. Like I always try to have good stream quality, right? As good as I can, as well as I can. So if you guys notice some uh, weird skipping or some uh, like lag, just let me know. Just let me know. I'm not that scary. I won't bite. Also, I found out that I can just sit here at the at the uh, at the benches, right, and hide the UI, which is very uh, very aesthetic. <laughs> it's it's a very aesthetic like default little thing here. So like yeah 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 yeah. But uh, yeah yeah. Let, let me know how uh, the quality is. Like it. I don't know. It, it might be fine. It might just be like 
whenever it's waking up and trying to get things started up and ready and all that stuff, so, you know. You know how these things go. Sometimes things get a little wonky, but then they smooth out and, you know, sometimes things are smooth and then something weird happens and it gets a little wonky. I, it, yeah, internet. Internet stuff is internet stuff. It's a lot of things going at the same time and a lot of issues. But either way, either way. Last time we were here in Ender Lilies, we, uh, we, we got pretty far, actually. We are now down here. We, we, we did all of this. Um, we got an ending as well. So, like, we started off, we were up here in, like, this middle top area, I believe. Yeah. We were down there, and, um, or we were up there, and we killed the, uh, the, 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 this guy, Knight Captain Julius. And then, you know, we, we explored around. We found some things here and there. Filled out a majority of this map, although now that we have Julius, we can do those, like, dash things. So, uh, there's a, quite a few areas that have been unlocked because of that. Um, but yeah, then we went over here to the the far east, right? We went all the way to the east over here. And, uh, found that that is apparently the end of the game right here. Like, this little, this little, like, section down here is the end of the game. So, we went there, we interacted with, with like, this lotus. And we got ending A, <laughs> which is just like, reach this point and then you get ending A. And it's not very good, like, we get purified of all of our blight, and we're allowed to continue on, live our life, and do whatever we want to do with the rest of our lives, right? But, um, that's kind of a lame ending, right? <laughs> that's, that's kind of lame. There's so many bosses left to, to be done, so many uh, areas left to explore, so like, uh, despite the fact that we technically did beat this game already, it wasn't a real ending. Wasn't a real ending at all. Like, we're only in chapter 9. I don't know what that means. We've only got 75, like, level 75 out of 100. And we got these stone tablets now, which are... We got 7 of these Dragon Balls. 7 of these stone tablets, so... I don't know. Definitely some things that, uh... Like, I, I'm, I'm assuming that there's probably gonna be, like, 3 endings, right? Like, we got ending A. Ending B is probably, like, whatever, like, the true boss. Like, down here. Like, we were going down this direction, and... Yeah, it, it was like hyping up something down here. There was there was something down here that, that was getting like hyped up. But before we continue to go down that way, I think we should probably go upwards. We should, we should get uppies and try and finish off any of these last little exploration things. Because I think we just finished off the, uh, the, the the final traversal boss. So we also fought, um, it was Muriel. It was Muriel the heretic, I, I think, who uh, she was the, the wife of, of Faden here. And Faden is, he's the, he was like the, the actual boss, which was, it was very interesting considering we fought a giant enemy, and then we killed the enemy, did not purify that enemy, went to the next room, and then there was a dude just kind of like vibing there, and we, we had to, we had to like purify him, so, alright, sure, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, thanks to that, we, we now have the ability to open up these locked, these red locked doors. So, uh, a lot of areas we can go to. A lot of places that I want to explore around, see what's up, and yeah, we'll take it from there. It's a very, uh, a very like cozy, chill time to start things off with. Uh, one that I definitely remember is right here. In this area, there was definitely over there to the west a um, a, a section, right? Over over here to this side, there was something. Also, oh, that's how we get down here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember there was an item up here, but I had no idea how to get to it. Uh, since we killed Honir, the other... Did we kill him? Wait. No, yeah, we did. We killed three bosses the last time, then. So we killed Julius, then we killed Honir, which is... Uh, this guy. Honir, Keeper of the Abyss. He has, like, throwing knives, which... Yeah, alright, but... Uh, the traversal upgrade we got from him or is these, like, the grappling hook, which... Quite nice. Although a bit weird, because, like, look at that. I can grapple downwards. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> But yeah, now we have access to, like, this dash with Julius, and, uh, how, do we, how does this work again? Okay, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, gotta do an attack after I dash. Alright, that's fine. We got that, we got the, the grappling hook, and we also have the ability to open up those red doors. <coughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so pardon me if I, I cough a lot today, because, I don't know, for the, these past couple of days, I've been having, like, some chest congestion going on. And I was like, oh, you know, it's probably fine, I'll just take some green pills, I'll take some, you know, like, allergy medicine. And, uh, I'll be fine. I'll be okay. I will be good to go. Alright, I gotta actually, like, do things here. Uh, how do I play this game again? How do I play? How do I play you? Right, bird friend, and then I got the... This one. Also, we did, like, upgrade... I, I think we upgraded, at least. 
pretty sure we upgraded the um, the the Umbral Knight, which is really fun. <laughs> Having the Umbral Knight upgraded is very fun for traversal. I think this might be the better, like the Silva. I think was that the hammer, uh, the hammer lady's name. I can't remember. Like I think this is still like more DPS over time. This set that I've got, but for traversal, this is pretty nice. Being able to like throw a far distance like boomerang shuriken attack and also having bird friend to kind of like do ship damage to like whatever's around also having the, the fast uh, attacks for this so yeah i feel like that's um the correct way i feel like that is the correct way to go about doing all of this but you know you know it's, it's kind of kind of weird kind of strange considering we've had all of these ones right we've had um the Sigrid, the, 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 that was like the first boss we fought. The Sorceress was just some like random enemy that we could find, and <laughs> the Umbral Knight. Like, I don't, I don't know, like these are some very, very early game levels. I feel like I'm kind of sleeping on some things, but on the same hand, it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty useful. Pretty nice stuff, so I mean, I'm not too, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, yeah, so like, we now, 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 now that we've got Faden, the heretic, has been purified, we now have access to these doors. So I'm curious to see what we can find in here. And like I said, I may as well... Ouchie. I may as well do this as much as I got. Also, yeah, we do have the thing for double spirits stuff. So, I mean, we may as well smoke them if we got them, right? May as well. Also, I do not have the timing correct on that at all. <laughs> I legitimately do not have the correct timing. Ah, uh, lame. Whatever. I need to uh, get back into the swing of things. Quite literally. God, but yeah, I'm getting so much of that, um, the, the, whatever you want to call it. I'm getting so much of that stuff, like, immediately. Like, I, uh, felt like I wasn't wasting, like, anything. I felt like I was not wasting a single, uh, bit of, of this big attack. Like, all those flies that were around, I guess, were, like, giving me a whole nother bar. <laughs> and since I have two of these things, it's like, I definitely have a lot of, uh, a lot of time, right? I, I got a lot of things that I can, I can deal with. I, I got a lot of, uh, like, potential. I don't have to, like, worry about saving any of it. I can just blow it all. Eh, item. Oh, it's another one of these things. Yeah, the stone tablet of fragments. So, yeah, I think that after we, uh... Well, like, whenever we get to, like, the end game, there's gonna be something like that. Some sort of thing with the stone tablet that we gotta deal with. Because, like, yeah, it, it, it makes sense, right? We, we have... The ending A, then like ending B of just like going and killing all the bosses, and then like ending C of killing all the things, of doing all the things. Also, I was kind of expecting those two areas to connect, even though there was no connector thing between the two of them, but you know, whatever. Whatevers. It, um. At least, you know, we were able to get through. Uh. uh what? What? No. What? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. Well, those things were very difficult to deal with. Like, I don't... They, they were a lot stronger than most of the other enemies we've fought so far. Which is not... I don't know. Cause... Has some cause of concern. Like, two streams ago, we were having some issues playing this game. We There was a lot of enemies that were just straight up kicking my butt. And in this one, so far, we've been pretty okay. But like, like, last stream, we were pretty okay. We I think we died, like, only once or twice. So that was, like, really good. It was really amazing. And so I was feeling pretty confident, feeling pretty good about myself. But now I'm back to being like, hmm, maybe there's something going on here. I so, said, yeah, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. There's something in this area, right? So, reminder to anybody that's new or uh, hasn't uh, been keeping up with this. <clears throat> Every time that there's like a blue area, it means that there's something to be had. There is an item in here somewhere that I do not have. It could be as simple as, like, a note, and it could be as, like, useful as, like, a plus 20 to my HP. So, I would like to get it if I could. I just don't... I don't know what it is or where it is. I'm assuming it's probably, like, that way, like, all the way over that way, considering... There's not really much else I can do, right? Um... Did we get any... I think we might have gotten some artifact upgrades for, like, higher jump and things like that. Like, these relics we've got, right? So what are we what are we working with? What are we cooking? What are we cooking with here? We got covered HP when you defeat an enemy. That's pretty cool, but like I don't think I need it right now. The mask is only useful down that one area. So yeah, give the plume gives me a little bit more jump. Uh, movement and dashing speed that could be pretty nice for like getting around. Uh, let's just see what we can do with the jump for now. 
I could always return to the respite. Because I'm not too worried about uh, that, right? Uh, I feel like there's got to be something over there. Because, like, there's nothing else around. Oh, hold up. Well, yeah, what if... Oh. Wait, can I double jump off these walls? I can. Why didn't I... This It's not letting me double jump off the top whenever I'm like that. Is it because I've already, like... Am I bouncing my head off of something? Maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe it's Maybelline. But yeah, I got access to this Honeer thing, so like I'm assuming that we probably can just go anywhere we want to, right? Also, sorry for the camera. It is kind of discombobulating. But at the same time, I really need it. <laughs> I really, really need it. Yo, Sky what's up, brother? Doom and Panda. Glad to see y'all. Thank you for stopping on by on the Twitch side. Yeah, we're playing with settings today. We're playing with some settings today. I've upgraded my uh, stream quality from 6,000 to 7,500 uh, kilobytes. So hopefully, like any of these like fast movement type deals, will be a little bit cleaner. But yeah, for now I'm just trying to find if there's something that I'm missing because I feel like there's something that I'm missing somewhere. There is uh, that item up there, right? So I'm feeling like there's m like somewhere on the ceiling, right? Probably something. That allows me to uh, get up high in the sky. Because there's something up there. But yes, yes, how are you guys doing today? Though, always glad to have you around. Hopefully your day is going well. It's a Monday, which, ah, oh, man. The weekends go by so fast. That looks like I might be able to make that action. Hold up. Eh, eh, eh. No. You're telling me I can't, cl I can't like, clamber onto that wall? Because, yeah, like, that right there over there. Over there on the, on the right. Looks way too, like... Way too sus, but I can't really do anything about it. Also, my god, playing this game without all the traversal upgrades, it was such, it was so murder. It was such a, a terrible, <laughs> terrible time. Oh, whenever I'm, if I point off the wall. Okay, I see, that's why I was, I was like not doing the jumps correctly. I don't know. There's something over there. There's something over there, but I don't have something important to get over there because yeah, in this area right here right there's something there there's an item it's a blue rectangle so it means uh, it means there's something here but the thing is I don't know what's here it's driving me mad it's driving me crazy but I should leave it for now I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going I think it's on that wall over there but I can't quite reach it so oh well whatever but yeah we unlocked more uh, traversal upgrades the last time so we're gonna go and see what are, is behind all of these red doors all these red uh, marks, these unexplored areas. And we'll see. Yeah, Mondays are lame. Yeah. Mondays are, are certainly <laughs> not my favorite day of the week. I do enjoy, like, when, uh, now that I'm, a, that I'm streaming, right? Like, Mondays are a little bit more exciting considering it's like, oh, yeah, that's a, a stream day. So, like, yeah, I can do something fun there. But, uh, I mean, still in general. It's just like, oh, all right, back at it. Back at a Monday. Another week. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of good sleep last night either. I don't know. I, uh, I think my allergies, like, I, I feel like I've been having some weird, like, congestion going on, right? And I think that's, uh, it's kind of like waking me up through the night. Also, it's a pretty little lotus. Pretty little lotus that we're they're using. I don't know why I opened up, I don't know why I tried to do that. I knew that wasn't going to be an item, considering there was a dude there. Oh, item. Give me, give me. Stone tablet fragment. Okay. We're finding these things very quickly. Which is kind of interesting. Like, sometimes they're hidden behind a boss, but it seems like they're all hidden behind those doors, at the very least. Like, regardless, they're all hidden behind a, a door. So it might not be too bad. might not be too bad to go through and grab all of these things real quick. So we've already got three of them. Found two of them in this stream alone. We got maybe two or three hours, but the sleep was at least decent. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I don't know. Springtime, as much as I love it, it does have its own sh fair share of problems, right? Like, ah, yes, springtime. I can have the window open. But also, at the same time, I should not have my window open, considering <laughs> I get, uh, a lot like, all the, the everything blooming it causes allergies to go, go burr. It's not fun. Not, not a fun time. There's something here, apparently. Interesting. But, you know, what can you do? Take your medicine and, uh, move on with it. Down. Give me downies. I love me downers. Alright, unlock the door. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. What do we got back here? This area is very Metroid. Like, 
This game is, is, is uh, in particular, very much a Metroid, like, level, area. Like, it's got so much, uh, oh, I gotta go back to the water. Yeah, actually, hold up, I should probably go back up. We're done in this area, so... Should probably try and get a, uh... Or I could go somewhere else. Uh... You know what, I don't want to equip that stuff just yet. Unless I have the slot. How much is it? How much does it weigh? Oh, it only weighs one. Alright, you know what, sure, fine. Fine, fine. <coughs> but, uh, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mondays are fun, considering you gotta get back into the swing of things. <laughs> I really only have, like, one day where I'm not doing anything. Like, Sundays are, like, my day to, like, catch up on IRL things and... And whatnot. The blight hangs even thicker still in the air here. Be on guard. What lies ahead is an area sealed off long ago. Alright. I am taking a lot of damage. Hold up. I have the mask on, and I'm still taking a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Like, oh, what? Yeah, I have the mask on. Greatly reduces damage sustained while in blighted fog and while in or on water. But, uh, <laughs> I was still taking a crap ton of damage. Alright, you know what? That definitely seems like something that I should wait for. That might even be like a, a health check, right? It might even be one of those things where... You have to get every single health upgrade, or like, damn near every single health upgrade, before you can go into that. Because, uh, yeah, sometimes games do that, where it's like, yeah, you need to be 100% of the, of the game to get to this point. But how do we, like, stop you from doing that? Well, we make sure that, uh, you just cannot proceed until you have 100%. So, I do There's de definitely something down there, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. <clears throat> But yeah, like, I upgraded my, uh, my kilobytes so that hopefully any, like, weird, like, bit ratey like, design on the screen will, uh, will be minimized. And, uh, hopefully that also will mean, like, whenever, uh, like, if, uh, if stream buffers a little bit, it has a little bit more area to, like, like, buffer, right? So instead of, uh, sending, like, what I need to send, and that's it, I can send a little bit more... And, uh, if something is an issue, then it's, it's not an issue, because it's fine. It's, it's got, it's got a little bit of, uh, data to fall back on. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's, that's helped some, uh, clarity and, uh, a little bit of the buffering. But, yeah, as always, just let me know. It's, uh, <laughs> streaming is a test of a lot of different things, right? <clears throat> so there's no guarantee of, is this thing going to work? Am I doing the correct thing? Or is this, like... Am, am I just, like, doing something that's not really worth my time? Nobody knows. Hopefully the changes make stream smoother. Just let me know. Just let me know. Alright, but we're finally- This is the first area. Like, this is where we woke up. This is the very beginning of the game. What do we got here? Restoring the Igus Curio. You know, I'll actually read this one, because this is at the very beginning of the game. Igus Curio, crafted long ago by the ancients, holds the power to ease the suffering of priestesses who absorb light while performing purifications. Its power has been weakened by repeated purifications by priestesses over many years. The power of an ancient spell can be used to restore this power and help the white priestess. If you can decipher the stone tablet, I am prepared to restore the Igus Curio. I wish I could decipher the spell myself, but alas, I have little time left. Ah, restore the Igus Curio added to findings. Okay, so this is probably what that is, right? I'm assuming that whenever I find all of the stone tablets, I gotta come back here. And, uh, and th we, we can, like, restore that thing. So, yeah, there, there probably is that then. There probably is, like, a once we kill all the bosses that we go through and kill the, uh, the final boss, we can get that ending, right? And then there's also the ending of getting all these stone tablets, going down there, purifying them, and purifying myself. Although it makes me wonder, like, because we have been getting stronger and, and, and all of that stuff as well. Ow. We have been getting all of, uh, all, all of that. So, <laughs> if we purify ourselves, are we going to return to level 1? Because, like, it's a blight level, so I, I'd imagine it would. Which is quite interesting. I was wondering about that, though, because, like, I've been so, so, like, concerned <laughs> about the names of the, the, like, level up stuff in this game. Like, oh yeah, I'm leveling up. I have now level 2 Blight. Like, uh, that does not sound good. That does not exactly sound like something I'm trying to, uh, to become. But yeah, I'm assuming that there's probably something for being, uh, being Blighted, finishing the game, the, like the, the, the true boss, and then being 
level 1, being purified, and uh, doing the same thing. Although it would be nice if I could keep my levels, because <laughs> I imagine that the final boss is probably going to be quite difficult. There's been quite a few enemies in general that are quite difficult. Um, alright, let's go back here. Maybe we should go from the top to the bottom, but let's go from the bottom to top. Bottom to top, top to bottom, bottom to top. Uh, I kind of want to put some, like, a, a different relic on, though, considering I don't necessarily need this. And I feel like I'm not really using that too much, either. What are we working with here? Damage deal. What? Oh, so this thing, the Rusted Blue Ornament and the uh, Heretic's Mask, are basically the exact same thing. Interesting. Interesting. We got that one for the greatly reduces the damage. We could reduce damage even further with the Cracked Familiar Stone. At least I think that's how that works. Spirit use I don't really care about. Increased spirit use I don't really care about. I kind of would like this thing as well, getting, getting another prayer, but I'm not too worried about that either at the moment. Uh, the ground damage, the air damage, which the air one in particular I really appreciate having. Are these all the things? Did we get all of the uh, the relics? Because it kind of looks like we have, considering they are <laughs> this uh, like a full screen of them, right? Kind of makes me think that we got them. Uh, increase the height, movement, dash speed. Uh, hello, what's up, Minko? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in. We uh, we, we, we vibing. We vibing for now. Just exploring around, seeing some things. Well, that's what I'm trying to. Th uh, you know what? Sure, why not? More defense is not a bad thing to have. Don't really have anything else in there that I desperately want. But yeah, considering last time we uh, got access to the uh, red door opener thing, we're now going through and seeing what all I can open up with uh, with, with, with fade. Ah, I just remembered. I always remember like this room as I'm in it, right? Like I, as soon as like I enter this room, I'm just like, oh yeah, this room. I remember this room now. Charge a big attack. I am getting a pretty sizable health bar, though. Like, all of this, like, going around and, uh, collecting the items, right? It definitely has been helping out with that. Oh, yeah, this is a door. I always get so confused about doors <laughs> in this game. Because, I don't know, like, the, the little icon there says, like, go up! And I'm like, alright, going up. And then I just, like, just do not see the door. I don't really think in a, in a 3D sense whenever I'm... Ooh. Whenever I'm uh, playing a game like this, right? Like, whenever I go into a building, I'm thinking, like, oh, okay, this is like a shop or a store or something. But, uh, this is not necessarily a area. I don't know. Is that just me? Maybe it's just me. Anyway, fade open up the door. We must explore all the things we must see. Fandermico. Yes, yes. Uh, King of the First Ages Diary 3. I don't really care about that one. Because all these doors so far have been giving me these stone tablet fragments. So I'm assuming, right? Ooh, stagnant blight times 100. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. No, no. <coughs> ah, you get a drink. I looked over at, at, at screen and I saw a, a zero kilobyte. Are my encoding issues being encode, encoding issues again? Looks like a maybe. Looks like a maybe. I've been, um... Yeah, I've been, I've been changing some settings. Seeing if I could find some, uh... Some, some fixes for some things. Trying to increase qu quality while also... Fixing the encoding. Because, yeah, it's definitely encoding, right? I've definitely had some encoding. Yeah, it did buffer a little bit. It did lag a little bit. Let me look at that. I don't know if I can change it while I'm live. But, uh... Because there's this one thing. Yeah, okay, this is what it's called. It's called... Oh, yeah, yeah, even, like, YouTube just gave me, like, an error. <laughs> That's a very delayed error, but okay, wow. then. Wow! Thank you, Minkyu. A little bit of Ina helped save my, uh, save my life. All right, let's try single pass. I can actually change this while live, which is interesting. Because, like, I've tried multi-pass mode, and I feel like it's getting it confused, right? I feel like the multi-pass mode thing is kind of, like, confusing the system. But, uh... I don't know. I don't know. There's there's a lot of things. A lot of things, and I'm not even sure what half these things do. It's like, hey, you, this thing is active. I'm like, okay, what does this do? And it's just like, nah. <laughs> like, you gotta, like, Google what the thing is. 
to even like figure out like, okay, is this something that I should have on? Is this something I should have uh, be, be using? Ouchie. Or is it something that's just like causing issues for like no reason? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like I can actually change some of those things. That guy's still alive? Really? Oh my god, so cringe. So a cringe. But yeah, I don't know. Like yesterday or Friday's stream was fine. I still hate how you're alive after that. Why are you alive? Ooh, there's a thing up there actually. Hold up. There's a thingy up here. Ah, look at that. Item. I can still grab that. It's fine. Chain of sorcery. More magic. There's still items around here in this area. What's, uh... All the way down. Ooh, we got something here. No, that's just one of these things, which... I'll take that. But... Not exactly what I'm looking for. Ooh, an item right there. Look at that. Looky, looky. It's so satisfying, like, exploring these areas, right? And then, like, seeing the blue turn to, uh... To uh, orange. It's a very satisfying feeling. It's why I love, like, Metroidvanias. Like, whenever you have something like that. Not all Metroidvanias do it. But whenever Metroidvania does do it, it's like, ah, yes, this feels so productive. Look at how smart I am with all the things that I've done. Oh, God, get away out of that. Get away out of that. There's something in this area as well. Uh, I can go back up thanks to that. Oh, yeah, here it is. An item. Amulet fragment. Ooh, plus five HP. Let's go. Um... Got some things upwards, so let's go ahead and try going up. Ouchie. Can I not? Ouch. <laughs> These freaking eye guys. These eye guys are always the worst. Oh, is that not like an actual thing? Oh, God. I was trying to heal, and then... Can you... Bro. Bro. I, I am literally way stronger than you are. Just, uh... <laughs> just accept the fact that I'm trying to keep you alive, okay? Accept the fact. Be right back. No worries, Minky. No worries. Always glad I have you around. But uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy your lurk. Enjoy whatever it is you gotta do. Uh, because yeah, we're not really doing much of anything. Just kind of exploring at the moment. I don't really want to have bird friend here with me at the moment, considering. Oh yeah, that's just like a, a sheer drop. Uh, okay. Uh, I could just keep going down, I guess, because there's like those two areas as well that I've never been to, or I haven't finished landing on one of those things. So cringe. It's a lot of everything around. New, uh, thank you. <laughs> Get out of my face. Alright, there's something around as well. Oh, up there. There we go. What are you, uh, no, come on. <laughs> that wall up there was actually like grappable. Grapple a bow a bow a bow uh grabable grapple I uh, uh. English is weird, especially on Mondays. I just don't have uh, my wits about me yet. Me streaming wits. Yeah, hopefully that single pass thing fixed uh, whatever encoding issue I've, I've been having. I don't know why I've been having so many like encoding issues lately with uh my computer. It just for some reason has been having some real like funky things. Like, sometimes it works, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it just gets real odd. Just gets real off. I'm trying to keep my eye on it because I value quality. I value the quality a whole lot. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's always a question about, like, alright, is it a me thing, or is this, like, a, uh, a YouTube thing? Is this a Twitch thing? Is this an OBS thing? Is this an ISP thing? Oh, man. There's, uh, there's, it's a lot going on. A lot of things going on. Which is why I always appreciate whenever you guys give me some feedback about like, oh yeah, like something was a little wonky there. Something didn't... Uh, this dude. This dude. Get out of here. Homie was up there on the top. You ain't my mayo. You ain't my mayo. Furious Blight. Ooh, times 100 as well. Quite nice. Oh, I can't climb on that. Okay. Can't go down. I guess that makes sense. It, it makes sense in this in the... Regard that there's not an icon telling me I can go down. Not much sense past that, though, to be honest with you. <sighs> the ambient sound of rain, though. It's such a nice noise. I don't know. A lot of people don't like rain. And, I don't know, if it, if it rains all the time, yeah, I get it. It's definitely... can get... <laughs> jork. It can definitely get... Uh, like, like, too much of a good thing, right? Too much of a good thing can definitely... Uh... uh start to wear on you a little bit. 
But, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't rain all that often around where I live. Like, it definitely doesn't rain as much as I would like. Let's just say it like that. Like, I, I enjoy the sound of the rain, the, the feeling of the rain, the sight of the rain. It's just a, it's just a nice, comfy feeling. <clears throat> it's a very comfy feeling to me. And, uh, so yeah, like, it, it doesn't rain as often for somebody like me. Down below is an area. Um, also got those two up there. Alright, time to return to the respite. That's also such a nice ability to have. Being able to teleport to my respite whenever I desire. Oh, it's so, so useful. To be fair, Hollow Knight did have something like that, but, um... It was kind of game-breaking what you were doing. It was kind of like a glitch. Because you had to, uh... You, you had to, like, break the, uh... You, you had to shut the game down. <laughs> you had to, like, return to main menu, and then you return to the last... Uh... Bonfire that you sat at. Which worked, of course. But it was definitely not how that was meant to be done. Definitely not how that was. I do, but our house leaks hella bad when it rains, so I have a, a love-hate relationship with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I haven't had uh, any issues with leaking uh, roofs. Uh, occasionally, I mean, like my roof will leak, but very rarely. Very rarely. So I just get to, like, enjoy the rain and not have to worry about it too much. Ah, go up. Give me uppies. Oh, yeah, amulet fragment. There we go. Plus five. This is the kind of thing that I generally do off stream, by the way. But, uh, considering we are nearing the end of the game and, like, we have to find these exp uh, like, these stone tablets through exploration, I've been kind of just like, oh, you know what? Sure, we will just go ahead and do these on stream today. Especially considering I'm trying to, like, test the things out. Okay, there's the item over there. Gotta climb this. Oh, there's also a breakable thing over th there. How the hell do you get over there? No, for real, though, because you can't go jump off that side. Oh. Oh, here we are. Oh, I didn't realize that I was inside the wall here. Nice. Nice, nice. Even if they can't die, this is still slaughter. Is that the final item? No, still something around here. Something, something. Hello, hello, sorry if I'm not on long. Hey, no worries. No worries, Apple. Always glad to have you around. Always glad to see you. <laughs> also, Lance is calling me a mayo slurper. Oh, God. Oh, God, that just sounds awful. I'm not a fan of, of mayonnaise, I'll be honest. I enjoy it to a degree, but um, it's definitely something that I uh, would uh, prefer to, like, if... I, I wouldn't necessarily put it on anything, but I also wouldn't necessarily take it off of anything, right? But uh, at the same time, there can definitely very easily be too much mayonnaise. Like, mayonnaise is one of those things that does not take a lot to uh, be too much. Definitely not a lot of... Uh, I don't have a high tolerance for it. It's just... I don't know, something about it. It's just too, like, tangy. Too, too tangy for me. A mayo slurper? Noted. I mean, Lance's. Me? Not so much. <laughs> me? Not so much. I don't know if it's me or you, but there was some lag just now. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Not too sure. I didn't see anything on my side buffer, but... Also, I was kind of in the zone, right? So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yes, thank you. Appreciate, appreciate the the uh, the update. What's up, Papa Whiskers and Arkham Kratos? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Got plenty of mayo for you. Yeah, probably too much. Probably a little too much mayo, huh? <laughs> I'm not a, uh, I'm not a fan. It's uh, a little bit goes a long way when in terms of mayonnaise. Have I played Cult of the Lamb before or Dead Cells? I have not played either of those games. I've definitely seen those games, but I don't know. They didn't really interest me, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not really big into roguelikes, to be honest with you. I like Metroidvanias, but I'm not huge into roguelikes. I can play one and have a decent time, but it's just kind of there, in my opinion. Yeah, that's that's a genre that's just kind of it's there. So yeah, maybe stop being so cute that I give so much. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, I can't help how much I give. <laughs> uh, eggplant bread, so cucumber, hell yeah. But yeah, glad to see you, Whiskers. Always glad to have you all around. You as well, Arkham Kratos. <laughs> Panda says hi, Whiskers, from the Twitch side. This has been tough for me. Rather play Castlevania on the GBA. I mean, that's kind of splitting hairs at that point, though, right? Because like. Uh, Castlevania, I would not consider to be a roguelike. Is there something up there? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Castlevania, I would not consider to be a roguelike. And, um, so, so like, in, like, uh, 
you're comparing a Metroidvania and a roguelike, they're similar in some degrees, sure, but like, I wouldn't necessarily place them in the same, like, ballpark. I wouldn't put them in the same categories. I guess maybe it's in which I'd rather play. Okay, well, yeah. But I mean, that's just like, this is like saying like, oh yeah, I'd much rather, like, first person shooters? Eh, I mean, if I have to, I can, but I really don't like them that much. I'd much rather play JRPG. It's like, that's not really part of the conversation, but, yeah, I mean, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I may have just thought of the best, worst Shonen side character names. Oh, yo. Share. Unless you're trying to, trying to do something with that. So where the hell am I going? There's something here. There is something in this area, and I must have it. I need it. It's very cringe how I can't go that way. I don't know what I'm missing here. There's probably a wall somewhere, right? Probably like a, uh... A faded wall. Or like I gotta go from up above and drop down into this area and... Well, no, because like the, uh, the, the transition was right here. I mean, enemies don't respawn, right? So I can go up here and see what I can do. Um... I don't know, maybe there's something around up here that like allows me to go through there. Didn't expect considering there's only like the one transition, so you know. Probably not, but mmm. Um Dead Souls is a Metrovania roguelike? Oh, a Metrovania roguelike. That's <laughs> game developers are getting so crazy with it anymore. Like they they're always trying to reinvent the wheel, right? They're always trying to make something brand new and flashy that'll grab everybody's attention. And it's just like, it's just, I don't know if that's a good combination, a Metroidvania roguelike. But I mean, go off, I guess. Go off and, and, and do what you, what you gotta do. Um, da -da 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 -da. Like you have a family that all fires pulses of energy, so Dragon Ball? The first one you meet is this uh, sturdy, traditional older brother, honorable and imposing, and believes in fighting head on. His name is Mono Ru or Mono. Mono? Okay. Was you a fan of puzzle horror games like Little Nightmares? Yeah, they're pretty alright. They're alright. They're very, um. I wouldn't necessarily call Little Nightmares a horror game. Despite the fact that Nightmares in the title and it's got some horror elements, it was a little too cozy to be a horror game, in my opinion. <laughs> like, it has horror elements, sure. But, like, we need a, a, a different name for that, right? We need a, a name for games that are definitely very, like, spooky core, but uh, not necessarily horror. Like, whenever I think of horror, I think of, like, Resident Evil, where it's like, you got zombies coming after you, or, or you know, monsters of some weird biohazard creation coming after you, and you're fighting to survive, right? That's a survival horror. But, um... Then you got Little Nightmares, which is just like, there is some comfy, cozy monsters, like, coming after you. And it's, it's like, it doesn't really scare you, but it's like, it's, it's aesthetically pleasing, and it's a, it's a fun game. But, yeah. Although I have not played Little Nightmares 2, I've only played the first one. I should play Little Nightmares 2 at some point in time, though, considering I did play the first one on stream. So, yeah, I got a VOD of that on my YouTube. Uh, I also almost beat that- I beat the game in a single sitting, right? I beat it in a single stream. And I almost, uh, I, I almost, like, skipped past it. I was like, alright, well, uh, I'm gonna call stream here to, for the day, thank you for something on by- Oh, wait, I'm at the final boss fight? Oh. Well, I guess, you know what, I will go for another, like, 15 minutes then. <laughs> like, that was- that would have been embarrassing if I restarted the stream. You know, like, if I played another day, and it was just, like, a- 30 minute stream of me beating the final boss and being like, oh, okay, well, never mind then. Where the hell am I going? There's so many th hidden things around here, but I don't see anything. Like, I think there's gotta be something up there, right? I feel like we might not have all the traversal upgrades yet, considering there's like. I, I need more. Oh, no, actually, hold up, hold up. I was able to get up here that time with that. Alright, cool. Amulet gem. We got that one then. That was a plus 20 as well. Nice. What is back here though? I killed all the enemies, so like, something. Uh, I think we need this guy to get play Catherine. Oh, I would love to play Catherine. Catherine is such a fun game. Oh, it's such a good game. Love it to pieces. I think Kaiju tried to stream that way back in uh, ye old days. Before, before any of us knew her. Like, before even I knew her. And I think I'm like the... Out of everybody that's here, <laughs> I've known her the longest. 
But uh, I think she tried to play that way back when, and like, Atlas is weird about streaming, right? They, they got some weird streaming rules. Like with Persona 3, they were fine with everybody streaming it, but for a lot of the games, a lot of their games, they are like, no, you cannot stream this past this point, or like, you, you just can't stream this at all, and it's weird. It's a, it's a bit strange. But, uh, oh, I love Catherine. I, that's probably my most played Atlas game, to be honest with you. I've re replayed Catherine a copious amount of times. I've gotten every single ending in base game. Every single one of them. I don't know where I'm going. I feel like I gotta go up here somewhere, but how the hell do you make any of this jump? Any of these jumps? Like, if I could, like, you know, there might be a thing here that I just was too dumb and didn't realize. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me try something. Now there's just a weird little bump there. Like, I don't know, I feel like there's something... No, oh, no walls here. Ah! There's something here and it's bothering the hell, hell out of me. Especially considering I've already killed all the enemies. But I don't know. <clears throat> uh, they coordinate their attacks and patterns. Later they also bring the dogs, Woofa, who enhances their attacks. Later they, uh, still, they make some calls and their cousins all show up to overwhelm you. Named Sue, Ray, Ron, and Doe. And they are called the Doe Ruby Clan. Apple cooking. Also, MJ Whiskers, I haven't showed you my <clears throat> recent ideas. Could you get the best, Catherine? Quather? <laughs> oh my god. I have not played that one. I have not played that one, but I did look into that game when it got announced, right? And so I do know all of the, like... I know everything about the, the Q, uh, Catherine. <laughs> that was... That, it's weird. It was a very weird ending. Hmm. I look, gotta go get my kiddo from school. Uh, Gata is hanging out. What? Gata is hanging out with Street Elements. What are you saying? Gata is hanging out. Oh, is it because you just did like the Lurk Gata? And then it said like the first thing? That's weird that it would do that. But either way, Panda, thank you for the Lurk. Always appreciate you being here. <laughs> I think it's because you said Lurk and then you said a sentence. Like, I think if you just say Lurk, it'll just say like the Panda is hanging out. But, uh, I guess it's because of that thing? That weird like little thingy thing? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't know. Don't know. But either way, yes, you have a good uh, rest of your day. I think you get it from school, though, at 1 p.m.? I don't know what school schedules are like anymore, considering I, <laughs> I'm not in school. I'm like, aye, aye. Are they sick? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Never fun to be sick. Uh, when Kaiju was a cat? Before Kaiju was, was a cat. In the ye olde days, I mean, she was still a cat. Back when she wasn't loud and high-pitched all the time. There, there, there was an era of Kaiju where she wasn't high-pitched. And, uh, I missed it. But, <laughs> I do know about it. Uh, DOTD, what's your top three favorite indie games in your opinion? Oh my god, I have no idea. I got no idea what I would consider to be my top, like, three indie games. That's... I would need to see, like, a list of indie games that I've played, right? And then I would be able to, like... <laughs> be like, okay, this one, but also I had a lot of fun with this one, and oh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Like, that's just like, that's like saying, choose your favorite kid. It's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got no clue. Got no clue what they would be. Quite a few of them, though. Indie games are very fun. Like, especially with the, like, the, the downfall of AAA title games. Indie games have definitely stepped up to, up, up to bat, right? They've stepped up to the plate, and... Quite a few of them are, are a lot of fun. Really enjoy them. All right, I cannot for the life of me figure out what's in this goddamn area. So, we're just going to be moving on. Be moving on to somewhere else. Although, I should probably go up, huh? Should probably go up. Um, da -da -da -da. Who try out this game just came out? Dragon's Dogma 2. I, uh, I did play the first Dragon's Dogma. I didn't beat it, but I played, like, the first quarter of it or something like that. Tried it out, and it was pretty fun. I wanted to go back to it, but, like, I just had so many things on my backlog at the time that I just never got around to it, but, uh, I know, I know our friend Rosa Kotal, she's, uh, uh sh she loves that game, like, it's one of her top, top favorite games, and so when Dragon's Dogma 2 came out, she was all about that, and she says it's not as good as Dragon's Dogma 1, but still a fun time, she's still enjoying it, so, I would, I'd like to play it at some point in time, it definitely looks pretty fun, looks pretty cool, let's try over here in this area, see what we can find over here. Um, he gets out of two because he doesn't go to the study hall. Oh, I see. Well, that's nice then. At least, yeah, at least he's not sick. Yeah, at least he's not sick. 
God, I remember having study hall whenever, like, at, whenever I was in middle school, right? Like, I, um, I was at that transitional age where, uh, because back in my day, back in the day, back in my day, middle school, uh, elementary school was from kindergarten through sixth grade, right? And then whenever I was a, uh, a fifth grader, they were like, hey, we're going to start putting all of the uh, the sixth graders in middle school. And so, yeah, whenever I, um, so, so whenever I was in sixth grade, sixth grade was also in uh, middle school. And so, uh, yeah, the fifth graders and sixth graders, it, it, whenever I was in fifth grade, that we were both at our final year of elementary school. And uh, so, yeah, whenever that happened, they weren't really prepared for us. They, they really weren't prepared. So, like, for the first, like, half of the year, or, like, the first semester of my sixth grade year in middle school, they had, um, just, like, a study hall where we were all just, like, in the cafeteria, which was the dumbest thing ever, considering, like, like, my dad or, like, my mom would pick me up from school, and so I was, uh, I was just there at school looking at, the, the, like, the, the vehicle. Like, I would see my parents, like, sh drive, like, show up to pick me up. And I was just like, all right, um, I guess I gotta just sit here for an hour before I can go over there and, and like, go home. It was so dumb. It was the dumbest thing ever. But, uh, you know, school in general. School in general. Mm, I was scheduled before she was a squeaker. This guy, did you try to World of Horror? I have played World of Horror. I did, I did. It was during that, uh, that time. Uh, during October, right? During the spooky season. I was play I played World of Horror once on stream. I played it quite a lot in my own time though. It is a very fun game. I do quite enjoy it. That Lovecrafty and like Love Note. Very fun. A very fun time. Definitely would recommend that game to anyone. That that's a that's another game that I would consider to be more like cozy horror. Like it's not exactly scary. Like there's not even any jump scares. Like there's the there's an, a, a couple occasional jump scares, especially if you're not like, doing anything. So for, like, streamers in particular. <laughs> for streamers in particular, whenever you're just, like, looking over at chat or talking to somebody or redeeming some some sort of Twitch thing, right? Definitely is, uh, like, something will pop up on screen and be like, oh, wait, what was that? Oh my god, jump scare! But, like, casually speaking, that game did not really have any jump scares too much. Because, like, I don't know, he was always on guard about what was going on. He always kind of knew that, like, okay, well, I mean, I'm playing a horror game. Something's about to happen. Stagnant blight times a hundred. Hey, nice so. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I had a fun time with that game. I definitely did not see myself streaming that game more than the once, though. Like, and different games definitely have different like stream lifespans, in my opinion. Like some people can go on and, and play a game for a lot longer. Then I'm like, I don't know. I, I just wouldn't. And World of Horror is definitely one of those games where like I. Went through, uh, saw, like, the majority of the game in my first, like, playthrough. And, uh, I didn't get to see everything, of course, but I saw quite a lot of things in my first playthrough. And so I thought it was fine. And it was. I need another drink, though. I'm getting thirsty. Hmm. I'm a thirsty boy. H2O water. <coughs> That's sadly duty calls. Talk to you later. All right, Apple. Hugs indeed, hugs indeed. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Maybe you can lurk in, say hi, We'd always appreciate it. But if not, no worries, I understand. You stay safe out there on those roads. Stay safe on them roads. I couldn't do, uh, I, I couldn't do that job, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, if I had to, I, I could, but I I'm not a fan of driving. I don't know, just is, uh, one of those things that I never really had a point to, to drive, right? Like, I never saw the, uh, the appeal to it. Whenever I was in, uh, like, whenever I was in school, like, the only place that I wanted to go was home. <laughs> so, like, I, I didn't have any, like, oh, go see friends. Like, bro, I, I'm, a, I'm a nerd. I'm a video game player. My friends are at my house in my Xbox. What are you talking about? I don't, <laughs> I don't need to go outside to go hang out with my friends. And so, uh, I just didn't see the point of it. I did not really see the point in, in driving. Didn't have a, a girlfriend at the time whenever I was in high school, so, like, I didn't have any real reason to go anywhere <laughs> like that. So, like, the only time that I ever, uh, drove 
was whenever I was going to school, which was... Oh, I got a little mini boss here. Isn't that cute? Isn't he just a cutie? Die. But, uh, so yeah, like... I definitely... Just never got the appeal. It's like, oh yeah, it's freedom. You get to go wherever you want. Do whatever you want. It's like, yeah, but like... The only thing that I want to go and do... Is go home to play video games. <laughs> so it kind of is like... What happened to my body? What's going on? Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like redundant. The only time that I enjoyed driving was whenever I was driving home after school. The Forsaken Fellworm. Exhales a breath of toxic mist that spreads over a wide area. Enemies that have made contact will lose health over time. Breath gauge or breath damage cannot be guarded. Many children denied a life within the castle walls were given refuge in the twin spires and trained as knights among the Forsaken. Many were. Uh, orphans of battle, or illegitimate children of royal blood. Illegitimate children. My god. My god. I noticed we've- I've noticed this thing here forever. Like, this little lever. But, <laughs> we were nev never able to figure out, like, where to- where I was supposed to be going from there. Uh, I didn't really- yeah, I mean, I used up some of my charges, but I didn't really use up anything else, so... Let's just go up. We'll probably just, you know. I probably could have just went that way anyways, and restored all my crap, but, meh, is what it is. Is what it is. Hmm, quite sus nights. What's up, Maya? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in. Hey, yeah, we just kind of vibing today. We kind of vibing. Testing some uh, settings out on OBS, because, uh, I I'm trying, I, I always want quality, right? Like, I am a, um, a perfectionist at heart. So, I, I want to have... The, the, the best quality possible. So I've upgraded my bitrate that I'm sending, so hopefully things look a little bit better on everybody's screens whenever it's, uh... whenever things are moving quite quickly. Also, I'm trying to change, like, encoding things around, because it seems like I got some weird encoding issues, so... A little bit of, like, weird testing here and there. Hopefully, like, it hasn't been too bad. We dropped 1%, 1.6% of frames today, which is not great, but, you know, not terrible either, so I'm... And also, I think it has been better ever since I swapped over to single pass instead of multi pass. I don't know if any of this makes sense to anybody else, but uh, <laughs> if you've been messing around with your OBS settings, if, if somebody's a streamer knows about all this stuff, you understand. You understand what I'm dealing with. But uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like being transparent about things like that as well. I like uh, talking about all the the things about it. Cause I don't know. That's something that I never really saw. Like, growing up watching YouTube. I was growing up, I say. I was like a teenager when I started watching YouTube. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, you always saw the the work, right? You always saw the, uh, the finished product. You saw what all the work was for. You never really saw all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So, uh, I find it interesting. I find it very interesting, like, looking at all these, these things. And, like, whenever my friends talk about settings that they have done... I'm like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about, that's, that's interesting. Maybe it's only interesting because I, you know, have done the streaming myself, but, uh, ah, I, I still enjoy, I still enjoys it. Die, bunch of those dudes. Lever, what does this one do? Oh, yeah, it brings that one up from there. Oh, yeah, 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 I do remember this, it was up here. Stupid teleporting birds. I got a bird friend of my own. What are you gonna do about that, huh? What are you gonna do about that? Flying enemies that can teleport. Ah, <sighs> truly terrible. Okay, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Whatever, it's fine. A B, a B, a B, a B. <laughs> this guy is such a jerk. Imagine if I had to like do a boss fight like this. That would have been insane. Would have been insane. Oh, I'm in water now. Didn't realize that's what this was. Hmm. But yeah. yeah. Doing good. We're doing good. Doing a uh, Stagnablite 800. That's a lot. That's good stuff. They were playing around, getting oh these stone tablet fragments. That's what we're looking for. Writing on the wall. Uh, never let. Okay, never mind. I was good, like, I'm gonna read this. Then I read like the first line. I was like, nah, never mind. Never mind. I don't need to read that. But uh, but yeah, like, I like uh, I like hearing about uh, the the tech things. It's it's very interesting to like look into. At least for me, so I enjoy talking about all, all that stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, we, we were trying to find these stone tablet fragments considering there's apparently seven of them hidden around the map somewhere. Also, we're not done with Zeri yet. There's still something hidden around here. But yeah, we're, we're trying to get all these items that we can. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Trying to find all these items that we can. That's not exactly where I wanted to go. That's not exactly where I wanted to go at all. Actually, hold up. No, no, no. I can climb the wall. I can climb the wall. We're fine. Um... But yeah, yeah, try to find these stone tablet fragments, also just whatever else is in these blue areas. Because blue areas means there's an item around, and I want stuff. I'm greedy, I like items. Eh, look, there it is. Furious Blight. Hug every wall. The Metroidvania in me. It knows. Hey, we're done with this area. Hell yeah. Something in that area still, which bothers the hell out of me, but... I don't know what it is, so can't really do much about that. Uh, we should also probably go to the red areas first, right? Looks like we've almost fi uh, finished the map. Like, there's this little bit right there. And then there's also, like, two down here. But past that, I think we're just about done. We're just about to done. <laughs> Welcome to the chat room. Okay. Okay, Twitch. Okay, whatever you say. One of those weird notifications where it's like, Hey, welcome to the chat room. We we've reconnected you to your chat. I'm like, y yeah. Thanks. I don't need to be connected to the chat. I just need to see what chat's going on. Well, I mean, I guess that means I need to be connected to the chat, huh? Nah. But yeah, we did technically kill a, kill a boss as well. This forsaken fell worm. That was, uh... He was an individual. <laughs> Wouldn't necessarily say he was tough, but, uh... I was probably also supposed to deal with him way back when. Okay, but yeah, let's go... Here, yeah. Go here, up, and then we'll see what's behind this door. And we can go over to, to the next area and see what's over there. Is this like a uh, an uppy thing, or... Okay, I know it's a door. Okay, okay. I still don't know what the, uh, like, if it's going to be a door or up. That's why I don't really like those type of traversals in these, in these games. Like, they, um... They work, of course. They definitely work. But... I don't know, whenever, whenever I see up, I just think, like, okay, I must physically climb this uh, this structure that I'm in. But sometimes it's also just like, hey, yeah, you need to, um... Y you must now go through a door somewhere, and that will cause you to go upwards. Um... I do remember this area. Is there something around here? So, yeah, there's that over there. But how do I get up there? How do I... Hold up, I think I might see it. Hold up, yeah, yeah, okay, so... One of these, huh? Need one of these dealios. Don't really do that too often in, in these type of Metroidvania... In, in Metroidvanias, but... From time to time, you do have to do that. The fall off the wall, dash under it, then jump back up. Classic. A classic... But also, that's like high level. That's generally like end game platforming. <laughs> Alright, what's hidden behind the wall? Got some of these jumpy jumps, which I'm assuming... Yeah, that's how I just get back up. Stagnant Blight. What? Uh, that's fine. I was thinking, like, is there a way for me to get back up if I didn't have the, the teleport? But then again, you wouldn't be able to get through the door without fighting Honir. I still can probably just do this, huh? Probably just done this. Or just return to the respite. Yeah, I can just wall climb. So I'd either use these things, which I kind of want to do because it seems like it'd be fun. Whee! Whee! Is there anything over here? No. Actually, hold up. There might be. There actually probably is something over there. Oh, uh, What do we got? Anything? Because, like, the area is still blue, right? So there's something around here somewhere. Oh, no, it's just down here. <laughs> just a diary in the water. Ah. But, yeah, like, I could return to the respite and climb up like this or wall climb. A lot of ways to get up there. A lot of ways to get up there. I love parkour in the in these type of games, though. Like, doing these little, like, just drop, dash, jump. I love them. To be honest with you, it's just so much fun. Oh, no! The bitrate's getting a little funny. I mean, if it's not the multi-pass thing, I don't know what, um... What it would be. Yeah, I so, saw so a little bit of slowdown there. So a little bit of slowdown on the, uh, on the screen. Hmm. The encoding is having some funny funny things again 
But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what it would be. I don't know what, like, the, um... Uh, encoding issue is. Because I know it's definitely... Okay, you know what? Let's try and turn... Let's go back to quarter resolution and turn the psycho-visual tuning off. Because I don't know what the thing does, but I feel like it might be having issues. I think that might be the thing that's having some weirdness. Also, the fact that I can change those things while live is very interesting. It's very interesting. Because generally speaking, there's a lot of things you cannot change while live. Like, settings-wise. So the fact that I can change those things are interesting. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a game of seeing which one... Which, which setting will cause stream the least amount of issues. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think that psycho-tuning thing, it, like, checks ahead of stream. Which I don't know how it really does. I think it, like, it, it guesses, right? I think it's supposed to, like, uh, assume what things are going to happen. So, um... If things don't go according to plan, it just gets a little, a little weird, a little funny. But I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it's fine though. Hopefully it is fine. Let me know. Let me know as always how if streams buffering. But yeah, then there's also like the whole thing of like, oh, I didn't even realize that I can parry. Maybe I did realize that, but you can like parry midair to like kind of stop, kind of like freeze frame yourself. That's interesting. Actually, yeah, that might be it. Hi, hi, what's up, Willow? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Oh, God, I just realized that, um, this is the, uh, like, I don't know, this weekend was, was quite busy for me. It was quite busy, even though I was trying to take it easy, it ended up being, uh, a, a busy thing as, as always. And so, uh, <clears throat> one thing that I did was I added a, a couple friend tattoos. One of them, the first one, being of, uh, our very own Willow Tree Necromancy over here. I was like, Willow Tree Necromancy. What a what a fun name. I like it. I like it. Necromancy in general. It's a it's a very cool concept. <laughs> but yeah, I added a, uh, a a weeping willow tree to my uh, hip bone. I guess you'd call that. I don't exactly know what that. Uh, yeah, I, I, that, that that's the best way that I can describe that bone, <laughs> that that area, that section. Interesting though. I'm, I'm noticing, ever since I turned that psycho tuning off, it's dipping a little bit, but it also seems like it's not dropping. Hmm, the connectivity is being a little funny, but it's not dropping, which, that might have been it then. That might have been the thing. Not right, cool. Me, I'm honored. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm always worried about that, right? Like, I'm always worried whenever I add a, um, a friend tattoo to my model. And then, like, I show them, I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna show you the, the thing that I've been working on. D do you like it? I'm not really an artist, so it probably looks kind of bad. Oh, you hate it. Oh, God. And then I show it to them, and then they're just like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Thank you. And I'm like, huh. Go figure. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's, yeah. It's one of those things. One of those things. Like, I, I, whenever I was making my model, right? I wanted to add tattoos, but I had not, I didn't really have any plan for what tattoos I was going to add. So I was like, alright, I mean, I'm white trash redneck boy, so, sure, let's go with that. It, it would fit the aesthetic of being a punk, sure, that, that's what we're going to go with. We're going with uh, barbed wire tattoos, and hearts, and tribal tattoos, things like that, you know? Your, your, your typical, uh... A lot like redneck, just trailer trash <laughs> tattoos. That's that's what I, that's what I go with. And then I was like, all right, what? Um, apparently, I was pointing upwards. Then I was thinking like, all right, I don't really know what else to add past that. Like I've I've uh, I've added all of those that I can think of. So what's what, what's next? And then uh, I was thinking about it, like, oh, yo, friend tattoos. Like that was. Uh, like, I started making some, uh, some, some friends in the VTubing space, and so I was like, oh, your friend tattoos could be a thing. So I had a couple of friends who were like, hey, you should add this to your model, and I was just like, you know what, that's a good idea, actually. And so I added, I think the first friend tattoo is the one that's on my right, uh, backhand, the back of my right hand. Like, that's, uh, a, a very old streaming, uh, not even, she wasn't even a streamer. She was a pre-debut streamer, and I think she's still pre-debut, pre considering... Like, college and things like that, so, like, yeah, you know. Life gets in the way, but, uh... Yeah, like, I think she's still in pre-debut, but, uh... Added, she has... A, part of her lore is, is on my palm. I can't say what it is. I do remember what it is, but I can't say what it is. Because, <laughs> you know. 
I, I am, I've made a vow forever ago. Many eons ago. Truly though, it's been like two years. Two years and some change now. <laughs> it's been quite a while. Quite a while. Now I really made my day. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it, Willow. But yeah, it's, it's always uh, a bit nerve-wracking, like, showing something that you did for somebody in a way. Like, I, I did it for myself, but at the same time, it's like I definitely wanted it to be good. <laughs> I, did, I wasn't just like, yeah, I... Hey, I, I added a representation of you on my model. It looks like shit. Like, uh, yeah, I wanted it to be good, but I feel like it, it's the artist curse, right? You never think your own art looks good. And uh, I even struggle to say that my art is art, considering. <laughs> I've never meant to be an artist. I just do it out of sheer stubbornness and cheapskate-idness. <laughs> I don't want to pay somebody to do something. I want, I want things to be my way. And, uh... Well, yeah. It, it it ends up being like this, then. Is there anything over here at all? Not a damn thing. But yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I Because, like, now I've got 71 tattoos, I want to say. I've got 71 tattoos after all my... After all of those. All of the, like, generic tattoos. All those traditional generic tattoos. And also all of the, um... Uh... Whatchamacallums. All the generic tattoos and all of the, um... Oh! Oh, that switch over there opened up this door. I do remember this one. We're too late. Well, I mean... We got it for a restoration, so, you know. Convergence. Those who live can only carry on the hopes of the lost. A priestess's quarters. They lived in such a place. I guess so. I suppose. But hey, for a restoration up, very nice. Very good. I remember seeing that forever ago. That was like the first stream of this that we did. We found that. Oh, yeah, I do have to, like, activate that and then... Run! Run! Force run! This is a, uh, a time trial thing. Oh my god, stop bouncing your head off of everything. <laughs> everything wants to hurt me. Ah. Oh, I had plenty of time. Oh, I had all the time in the world. Now, you didn't choose the artist life. The artist life chose you. It really did. Me being stubborn and cheap made it so that the, the, uh, <laughs> the artist life was, was what I had to deal with. Hey, oh, Sky, oh, boy, oh, how you doing, Kaiju? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping home by beginning to have a dick tattoo eventually. Um, what's, like, my model's a Ken doll. Like, I would just say that, like, officially, like, official, like, like in, in the lore and all that stuff, sure, I got a dick. But, um, like, if you look at my model, like, you, you remove all the clothes, it's just a Ken doll. I, I'm not modeling a penis on my, on my model. And also, like, I don't want to, like, I wouldn't want to do that in the first place. Then second off... If it accidentally ever got shown ever on stream, that would be a problem. <laughs> so, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But, um, the same hand. I do actually have, like, tattoos around that general area, though. So, uh, like, uh, the, the closest one that I got is hentai. I have, in uh, the Japanese kanji, I have hentai written right above my, uh, like, the pubic area. And then I have the twin pistols and then I've got this like navel like tattoo it's not a womb tattoo it's not a womb tattoo <laughs> and then I got yeah then I got the willow apple mink you and then on the other side I got the lance and the the, the succulents and the uh the sword which I also was wanting to add one right there like where the like between the sword and the lance I have an idea of something to add but I don't know if it makes sense because like I have a, a tattoo in mind that I would like to do, I would like to add, but I don't know if, because, like, it's a friend tattoo, and I don't know if my friend that I'm thinking about adding, in, like, has the <laughs> the thing in their lore. Like, they're an elf, right? So I was like, oh, a bow. I'm going to add a bow and arrow to right here, and, well, <laughs> I don't know if that actually makes any sense whatsoever, or if it's just me being like, ha, you're an elf, you use bows, ha. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Oh, look at this guy. We've, uh, never been in this area, considering I, uh, could never beat that door. Dead idiot. Okay, this just goes over here to this side. So, we are now over here. There's another way to get into this verboten waste, or whatever this place was called. But, it's not exactly the best air way to get in here, so. Whatever. Uh... What else do we got? What else do we got? I think we might have actually just finished up every single one of the uh, upper area doors. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Some Merc. I got Kaiju on my cake. And then I got buns on my other side <laughs> of my buns. But how are you going to start your OnlyFans if you don't have the dong? Well, you know, I can, uh, I, I can always leave that to, like, the, the animators, right? I can leave it to the animators, to the fan artists, things like that. But as far as, like, this model right here, I'm just going to leave it as smooth as a Ken doll. <laughs> just going to leave it smooth because I don't want to accidentally have a, uh, a, a dick slip, you know? That'd be a little weird. Be a bit weird. Right, how many of those uh, things have we got? We're missing one. We got six out of the seven. So, we're missing one more of these tablets. Probably it's below me somewhere. Ha! <laughs> below me. Got an item over there, an item over there, but I have no idea how to get those two. I have no idea where they're at. Then I got two over there, one down there, and one over there. And then we got this entire area down here. I kind of want to keep uh, working with what we're doing, so I'm going to go up there to that one. <clears throat> going to go all the way up. Really wish that I could, like, just use a cursor to figure out where I'm at. Because this, uh, this list is terrible. Like, look, it's like, alright, well, not the way I'm going. Nope, up oh, there it is. Nope, no, that's not the one either. Wait, did I pass by it? I might have passed by it. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Nope, nope. There we go. That's the one. Bridgehead. Like, if I could just use a cursor and click on the one that I want to use, like, oh, that'd be so much better. I don't remember what these areas are called. Also, not that way. I need to go down. I need to go down low. Bend over, make your knee, touch your elbows! Apparently, March was, uh, like, a singing march. And a bunch of people were doing, um, a lot, like, singing during it. Which, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I missed that, apparently. I did not have, uh... Well, I, I think I heard about it, like, at the beginning of March, but then I didn't hear anything about it for the longest time after that. And so, like, I kind of just totally forgot about it. Then Konkuro, good old Konkuro King, he posted a, uh, a cover for Singing March. And then I was like, oh, that have been fun. I haven't done a, um, not like a TikTok cover in a long time. I used to do them all the time, like, way back in ye olden days. There's something up there. Way back in ye olden days, I had, um, yeah, I was, I was just trying to, like, everything. I was trying a little bit of everything. I did do uh, karaoke on my uh, affiliate celebration. I did do that. I did indeed do that. So I guess that counts. But, um, yeah, I remember, like, way back. Oh, there we go. That's how we're supposed to get up there. I see. Um, but yeah, like, I would, like, after a stream, I would be, like, in the mood to sing music. Hey, second blight times 800. Nice. Not exactly what I was wanting, but I'll take it. And so I would, uh, I would record myself singing, and, like, I would edit together a, a little TikTok. But, uh, I've not done that in forever. And I really, honestly, I don't know. I don't really plan on doing that anymore, either. But, um, it was fun. Like, karaoke is basically just taking that over. <laughs> Instead of doing these, these little, um... Uh, cover type deals. I was just, uh... Well, I just do karaoke now. Mm -mm. But yeah, it did remind me of those. Reminded me of the days long since past. Uh, Alright, we could go over there to the right. Actually, hold up. I do kind of want to go over there. There's this giant waterfall area. And... I wonder if there's something that I can grab here. Like, there's something back this way. And I think I can get back up there now that I have, like, the wall climb and things like that, so. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find something around here. Maybe it's just down in the water. Uh, nada. Not a thing. But yeah, yeah, I've added uh, the, the tattoos that I've added this last time. Okay, I thought those things were moving for a second. I was like, why are these things, why do these things have eyes? We yeah. added uh, Willow. Added Sour Apple, added Minkyu, and I added 9 Volt. So, quite a few, quite a few Friendo tattoos have been established. I'm running out of room, to be honest with you. Like, my legs and, like, my abs are, like, the only place that I really have room to do anything. Eh, it's kind of... I don't know if I can make that jump, to be honest with you. That one's kind of... 
Yeah. Kind of, kind of weird. I might be able to do some, like, funny jumping arounds by using the, uh, uh, yeah, 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 oh, it's even, like, this was even the area. Using that, that, uh, that hammer like that. <clears throat> I don't know if it's meant to be used like that, but it's quite interesting. Stagnant Blight, got a note, and <coughs> another note. All right, cool. Ah, I need a drink. I need a drink. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> Need the word tattooed across your toes? Which which word? Just the word the the, the tattooed? I I mean I do have the knuckle tattoos, right? I got I got them on my on my hands. <clears throat> do, do, do I just I need words on my toes as well? I know um I believe it's the, the lead singer of August Burns Red, a Christian metal core group. And they, uh, I, I believe their lead singer, he's got something. I've gotten, I don't remember what it's supposed to be, but he's got something tattooed on his lip. Like, inside his lip. Weird. Toast? <laughs> With the E? <laughs> nice, Minky. Nice. What would I, uh, what would I? Because, I mean, I already have a toast tattoo, right? I got his little, like, bread with the cowboy hat. I got that on my buns. Hun. So, I don't know. What, um... What, what would work? What what word would be on on my toast? Right and left, maybe? <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, but... We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll put that one on, on, the, on, the, on the back burner, huh? Alright, um... Where next? We got these areas over here to the left. Yeah, I guess we'll go from here. Sure. Not too bad. <clears throat> ah. Well, yeah, I had some... had some weird, like, congestion, like... Not issues, but, like, just some weird congestion going on. The other, um... These past couple of days, and so... Yeah, I took some, uh, like, like... Uh, like, Robitussin. And things like that. Some... Stuff to help deal with chest congestion. Not really got much of a cough, but I think it's like starting. Like it, it's things are in full bloom, right? So getting a little bit of allergies would not be surprising. Mm -hmm. So many. It's, it's a very dark area down here, so it definitely isn't too surprising that I've missed something. The verboten domain. We should never have come here. You guys aren't even in the verboten domain, though. This is the, uh, the, the area before the Verboten Domain. Verboten Domain's the area with all that, like, poison, fog, mist, whatever. Up, up, up. Uh... I make sure to break all the pots in these areas, considering that's the thing, right? In this, uh... In this game, there's definitely... Okay, I definitely need to go that way at some point in time, but... Not yet. But there's, uh, there's stuff in, in jars. Stuff in pots and jars. So, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Oh my god, I forgot about how many of these things there are. Yeesh. Alright, you know what? One of those. So many rats down here. I kind of doubt there's going to be anything worth my time, but... Sure, you know? We'll, uh... Oh, it's probably here. Okay. At least we found it. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Nice. What do we got? What do we got? Ow. Got something down here. Die, rats, die. Not really paying attention to my health considering we're not in a boss fight, right? Like, I'm not in a boss, so I'm just like, eh, it's probably fine. Like, we're probably doing okay. I don't... I don't gotta worry about anything. <clears throat> but yeah, alright, we're done with that one. All the way up. No, I haven't had any issues with the dying yet. Which <laughs> is yet being the key word, but... I definitely want to play it safe. Definitely got to play it safe here. It could happen at any time. These uh, these minor enemies, they're not a big deal. They're not a big threat. But they are a threat nonetheless. So, I'm going to keep it... Got to keep myself on my toes. Ah. Ah. That's what we call in the show business a throwback. Rolling R's again. We do that way too often in this. We do that way too often in our community. Especially whenever we do a collab, right? Poor, poor Varden. Can't do, uh... 
Get ten rollers ours. Woo, that was a little close. Now, oh, jork. Poor poor Barden with his lack of rolling ours. And then Kaiju and I showing off that we can roll ours. <laughs> At least Doom gave him something that he can be proud of with the uh the, 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 the R flip, flipping your R's. I've never even heard about that until uh, Doom mentioned it. It's like, yeah, yeah, this is a thing. And it's like, ah, I've never heard this in my life. And yeah, considering Kaiju and I can roll our R's, it's a little more difficult to do that. Just like uh, a singular roll of the R. Very strange. Very strange. I don't even know what you really use that for. What's a bone? Yeah, I can flip Mars, exactly. Yep. I summoned the Varden with that one. How you doing, Varden? I'm glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. I guess you've probably been lurking them. Michael, it's your birthday today. Cake and ice cream is on its way. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, hilarious if my name was Michael. But sadly, it's not. <laughs> uh, I got a friend whose name is Michael. Actually, his birthday is coming up somewhat soon. Maybe. Probably. I'm very bad with birthdays, I'll be honest with you. I have a generic, like, knowledge of when somebody's birthday is, but, um, as for exact days, damn sinners, you'll pay for this! Yeah, okay, sure. Sure, buddy, whatever. Give me your, give me your blight, thank you, bye-bye. But yeah, as far as, like, actual days go, I'm terrible with remembering birthdays. I'm like, oh yeah, your birthday's in March, oh yeah, your birthday's in, in, it's, usually I can be like, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's like mid-March, or like, yeah, late March, uh, yeah, this one's like, Early April, like yeah, okay, I'm good with that. But past past that, it's just like yeah. Although I do have like the uh, birthday saved on my phone, right? So like my uh, IRL for like friends and family, I have their birthday saved on my phone. So I'm be like, okay, yeah, it's like early April when's your birthday is, right? So I could like just look at that and be like, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I was right. It's just it's it's tomorrow. It's it's yesterday. Flipping arse. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Minkyu. You know, always forgot how old I am. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Uh, like, as I've gotten older, it's gotten worse and worse as well. Like, I think after I turned 22, right? Like, I was 21, and I was like, yeah, I'm 21. Then I turned 22, and I was like, okay, I know I'm 22 now, but I'm not exactly excited for my birthdays anymore. And, like, ever since then, it was just like, yeah, I'm 23. I'm 24. I'm 20. Five, and now I'm like 28? No, 27. 26? 27. 27. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> uh, although it is pretty funny how anymore, like whenever I, I get like ID'd, right? Like if I buy alcohol or whatever, uh, they just look at it and they're like, okay, and you were born in the 1900s? Okay, yeah, you're fine. Moving on. <laughs> they don't even, they don't even check, really. They see the 19, they're just like, yeah, you're fine. Move on. Move on on, boy. Move on on. The, uh, the young generation, the Gen Alphas, are, you're blocking their way. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Crazy that we have another Gen already. Like, uh, we always talk about the Zoomers, but now we're gonna have to talk about the, the Gen Alphas. Like, we're talking about them, but, like, they haven't really... Well, like, they're not really, uh, prominent yet. Because they're still very young. But, like, it's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time before the the alphas. That's oh my god. They're gonna get such an ego with that. They're gonna get such an ego with that title. Like, oh yeah, you millennials. Oh yeah, you uh, zoomers. Okay, that's what. I'm an alpha. Like, all right, all right. Then. I can hear it already. Is that me just being an old timer though and being like, get off my damn yawn, get off my damn lawn, you damn alphas. Ah, oh, boy. Bum, bum, bum. Kill the dudes. I feel like the last time we were here, we did kind of like rocket through this area, so. No surprise that we missed quite a few things. Hey, not too bad. Alright, and with that, there's those two areas that I've got no idea what, where, why, how, when, who, woo, do, la da di do. So, I think the only thing left for us to do is go down into the lower area. Also, it looks like turning that psycho past, uh, whatever thing, turning the thing off, has helped with the, uh, the, 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 the encoding. So cool! <clears throat> Whenever that's for ID, I feel slightly flattered, because the older I get, the more I wish to look a little younger. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm still in that, like, mind frame of being like, uh, like, uh, I still look young. 
I, I still look younger than um, than I would like to look, <laughs> I, I guess. Like, I don't know, I'm 27, and it's like, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, you look like you're young 20s, and I'm just like, is this a compliment? Or is this, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of in that stage of my life of like, respect my age being the age that I'm actually am. Bah. Alright, but whatever. Fast travel. Uh, down to here. Yeah. A couple of those areas we could go to and explore and see, but I still got all of this, so. I don't know. I, I kind of don't want to go and explore around in these areas just yet, because they're kind of obnoxious, to be honest with you. Kind of obnoxious. Do I have the mask on? Yeah, like the music in this area and the. Um, no, I do not. The music in this area and the. Like, just the general, like, ambiance really makes me feel like Metroid. Something about this one, just... I can't help but, like, see it, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're playing a Metroidvania now. Now we're playing a Metroidvania. For real. Oh, yeah, I picked up another relic thing so I can have another thingy. Another thingamajig. What thingamajig do I want to have, though? Speeds up accumulation of the SP gauge? That would be a little too broken. Which makes me kind of want to put it on, because, like, I already get it very fast. So if I can get that even faster, good god. Good god. Could also just up my defense more. Since I'm exploring, that probably would be a better thing to have. Maybe against bosses, use the other one. Yeah. Also, I got no idea if the damage even stacks. The the damage, like, reduction things. No idea if it even stacks. Yeah, I was like, where's Marielle at? There you are. Ha! <laughs> Dead. Not that bad of a boss. I think I died to you once. And this is Faden, the one that we actually purified. Which is very weird to me. But whatever. Alright, got something in this area, and, of course, the next area. What, uh, what are we missing around here, though? Yeah, up here, something. Something over here. No. Nothing over here. There's something, though. God. It's so difficult to, like, see what, what, what I'm missing, right? The thing about these Metroidvanias is that... Most of the time, it gets kind of tough to see the walls. I know in, like, actual Metroid, right? <clears throat> the way that you would go about doing that was, like, you would use a, um... Is that a heart, I just realized? That tree looks kind of like a heart. Or, like, a, a weird, like, womb. A weird egg. Oh, yeah, it's up there. There's something up there. I see it. I see the thing that I need to get. But how do I get up there to you? I don't... No, actually. Oh no. How do I? Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I actually do not know. But, um. Uh, yeah, you can, like, use the power bomb or, or anything like that. And it will, uh. It, it'll, it'll, like, blow up everything on screen. So you can just use that to be like, okay, is there anything on the screen? Nope. Okay, cool. Moving on. And, uh, just that, that's how you can, like, quickly go around and figure out what you need for each of the areas and all of that. Eh. Yeah, back to things that are actually on my level. Enemies that do a lot of, uh, a lot of damage, and enemies that do a lot of speed, that have a lot of speed to them. Kinda wanna ignore as much as I can, though. Really just, you know, not big onto the whole fighting in this. Up here? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all. Drawing nearer now, and I've never understood more clearly. She's out there, at the end of this blighted breadcrumb trail. Yeah, right, cool. Cool, bro. So all of these, uh, red ones, but there's no white ones. Which, honestly speaking, I kinda wanted the white ones more. Well, this water's actually clean. I did not expect that at all. Can I... let me get out of here first. <laughs> that sucked. There was, like, the little, like, delay on that. And yeah, these are all... oh, they don't even give me anything. I guess because I'm already maxed out. Still a bit weird, though. But yeah, like, we, we came down this way, and then I turned around. I think I didn't see the path forward, but... I mean, it was kind of simple. It was actually quite a simple little destination. The music down here, I don't even know if you can call it music, but... What the hell? Just that... Like, I don't know. Definitely kind of disturbing. So many of these things around. 
So I'm trying to keep my camera like ahead of me so that I can see anything that I might be missing. Because this area is blue, so there's mean there's something to be collecting around here. Uh-huh, up there. Okay, so... Ooh, gotta go all the way back up to where we were and just take the other route. Take this left route instead. Thankfully, these things are not on the ground, so if I just do that, if I just dash, we're more or less fine. Hey, that's the only thing around here, too. Nice. Yeah, honestly, these things are not that big of a deal, considering only if you're slow do they uh, aggro. So I can generally get out of here. And just to get out of here. Oh, and there we are. Memorial. Oh, we even got a respite here. Hell yeah. Didn't expect that, to be honest with you. But I'll take it. What is that mosquito noise? Fred is Memoirs 5. Is Fred going to be the final boss? I guess so. Anything up here? I don't think there's anything up there. So I don't think I can climb up there. Something around here. Oh, there it is. There's the something. Oh, there's something down here. Look at that. Silver's Blight Stained Note 2. That's a lot of reading, Chief. That's a lot of a lot of reading. I think that's for my ID out of spite. Asian genetic and all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lansu here. Got the, uh... The, uh... Asian boon. The Asian boost to, uh... To aging. Simply does not. Until... White Priestess' earrings. Increases the maximum number of uses for healing prayer by one. Ooh, that's really good. How expensive is that? Because I know there's one that costs four. One of them that costs five. That looks kind of cheap, though. Oh, yeah, this one's really cheap. I can get rid of, um... That one, put that one on. Also, yeah, we now have a like a list, a, scro <coughs> a scrolling list. So, yeah, I'll just put that one on for now. Holy spring water, use the earrings. That statue is kind of funny though. Like, I think that was the first one that you could find was the statue. First one that I found was that other thing, but um, I think you could have found the statue earlier had you uh, known about it. That isn't what I was wanting to do at all. Probably should have just grabbed hold of the wall, huh? Probably should have just done that instead. It drop. Oh, drop. Oh, pfft. come on. Drop, jump. There we go. That's what I want from you. Yay! Amulet fragment. Take those. Max HP up by five. Still something in this area. For real. What? <laughs> what and where? It's like this is the. Yeah, this is the door. Doesn't really look much like a door, but that's the door. Still missing one fragment. I'm guessing it's probably on that other side, with all that miasma. Hmm. Oh, there's an easel there. I didn't even realize there was an easel. Didn't really pay too much attention. I've mentioned before, but that's like on the far side of my screen. Generally speaking, it's not an issue, but sometimes... There's some, th weird, some weirdness with all of that. What am I... What am I doing here? There's nothing up here, because I can't climb anymore. Unless there's something in this wall. No. There's something here. It's, it, there, there's a... Um, it's like, no, because I've, I've been resting. There's a blue... It's, it's a blue area, so there's something here. Alright, but yeah. I, yeah like I've said before... Pro yeah, alright, this is definitely the end of this. Um, uh, there, there is probably going to be something where I gotta like, beat this boss... And then I get, like, a blighted ending, like, the true blighted ending. And then, like, I'm assuming that I can also get all of those artifacts, right? And then use that to unlock the the actual true ending. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try and fight this boss. Because, like, last time it saved, so I was fine. So, I mean, I imagine that I can go ahead and do this fight and uh, not worry about it. Y'all better like and subscribe. Thank you, Kaiju. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. We're definitely, like, I don't, mm, maybe we could go over that way and grab the item first. Yeah, you know, we got this bench. I'm gonna tease you. I'm gonna tease you with that one a little bit more. And we also got this right here. Subterranean, whatever. Go over here and we'll try and get through this area. Do I have... Do I have the mask on? I can't remember. I just straight up do not remember. Okay, yeah, I do. Cool, cool. Wow. I got two of the- I got the best two defense items on. I got the uh, SP gauge thing. More, uh, healing. More healing every prayer. 
recovering healing or recover health from uh, doing damage. And that mask. I've got a lot of good stuff on, actually. Doing pretty alright. Wait, there's definitely some things over there to the left in this area. But I'm curious about this. I imagine that this is probably going to be where the last of these, um, whatever you want to call them, are. I imagine this is probably where the last of those, uh, that stone t uh, tablet thing. Which we might just want to rush, because, like, oh, God, look at that. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of damage I'm taking. And this is even with my, uh, like, all my stuff. Yeah, this is even with all of my, like, uh, healing and whatnot. Ooh, that was close. I didn't really see that thing until it was already kind of there. Yeah, I need to uh, heal. There's an item right here. I want that. Oh, thankfully these items give me respites, though. I don't have to worry about them. All right, cool. Go through that one. Go through that one. These things are a lot of damage as well. So, like, if I take damage on one of these things, it's probably just, like, insta-death. Yeah. Oh, that was close. That was close. Didn't insta-kill, but it was very close. Alright, whenever I land, I do another heal. And I have no more healing. Oh, boy. Got a stagnant blight here. I don't have any more healing. And we are all the way down here. I got all the items, though. Uh, you know what? Return to respite. I think what I might want to do with this area is, um... I might want to use these relics, right? So, I don't need this... Um, I'm gonna keep that on for now. Don't need that. Don't need this. And then I'm gonna equip those two things. So I have a bunch of healing stuff. Uh, is there anything else that I can do? Damage to damage to maximum. Sure, definitely not gonna have that one. Um, uh, I think that's all fine. Oh, wait, this one's aquatic movement speed. I probably put that one on as well. Yeah. And then, you know what, I'll give myself a little bit more health. Sure, sure. It seems like this one might just be a gauntlet, right? This one might just be a gauntlet of, of go. We got all the items, though, so we don't got to worry about that. We don't got to worry about stopping for items. Just run as fast as we can. Can't touch me, I'm the gingerbread man! I think that was not exactly ideal, but we'll take it. Uh, I don't know if the damage reduction thing is... Did that help? Or not. Not sure. All the way down. I don't know if that uh, is faster either. Don't have a clue. Like, if going down with this, or like, my, like, feather fall that I have. Don't know. Also, I don't know if, uh, okay, it's about half. It's about half my health. May as well go here for a second just to get a breather. I right, dash, dash. Dash through all this stuff. These little mines, in particular, are the worst. Okay, heal up again there. It's a little under half. Uh, about at a quarter, I guess. At about a quarter health, I should, um, start worrying about all that. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to heal, considering I don't know if I'll get a chance down here, but we're also not exactly... Uh, you know, I'll do it here. Do it here. But yeah, I now have faster water movement speeds, so that should be fine. Just keep going down. Look forward as much as I can. Thank God you can move your camera like this. It would be obnoxious if you couldn't. I only got one more healing left, and then we are done. Then we are toasted. Oh, but we're good. We're through. We're through. Uh, visitant. Alright. Nice, though. We got through. We got through it. The Deathless Pact. Only high-ranking princesses are permitted to perform the necromatic uh, rites that entreat the souls of the dead. Uh, a warrior of the ancients must forfeit flesh and offer their soul to the priestesses, in turn becoming a deathless entity. The pact is then sealed and continues through the family line through the generations until the bloodline comes to an end. Ancient warriors shall remain immortal as long as the pact continues. Is that expose? Is it, did I get all the notes then? Cool. Yo, what is this? Enter. Okay, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that yet because there's stuff, stuff down here. This thing. Stone tablet fragment. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the last one. One of our warriors consumed by the blight. Oh, and is this the ancient soul then? The last one for our buddy. The Umbral Knight. Oh, yeah. We are the last ones left alive. Even getting a cutscene for this one. Cool. An undying warrior's end comes upon the death of the priestess to which they are bound. And the hour of death has come for my priestess and I. 
My eyes grow dim. Soon only our decaying corpses will remain. Furin, Eldred, is. Ellipses. Dots. Periods. The battle is lost. Our homeland stripped to bear. What fate awaits a people who have lost everything? Hatred is the vilest blight. Unaffected by purification, it festers, rotting one from within. Listen well, Farron. Last of the undying warriors. The bond of the Deathless Pact will pass on to a new priestess. I beseech thee, carry us in your memories. Aww. By the guardian of the last priestess of our ancient society. Ancient so too. Ah. So that was the Umbral Knight's uh, memories. Is that him? Where's the piece of my brother in arms? Maybe not him then. I lost the priestess that I was meant to protect long ago, and have been imprisoned here ever since. Then I met you, the carrier of her ancient bloodline. My first thought was to break the bonds of the pact. By my own hands, I would end it. Hmm? But as we traveled together, I came to a realization. I was once supposed to protect the priestess of this land long ago, and I'm still meant to protect her. You were the last hope of the ancients. Together we can free the white priestess of the fount. I believe this to be the sole wish of the ancients. A wish and people long since consumed by the blight. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, we got his little, like, backstory then. That it really made it look like that he was our dad, though, I'll be honest. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting that if I went through that teleport thing, it was just going to teleport me all the way down here. <laughs> or all the way back there. Okay, so yeah. I believe, so if we want to get the true ending, I'm assuming that we probably got to go all the way up to the, uh, the top back there, get that whatever the thing is, and we can move on with our life. But, we got something down here. So I want to try and do this first. I want to see if we can get, like, ending B before we get, like, ending C, right? <clears throat> and we might be able to get the true ending, but, yeah, I feel like we can get other things as well. Also, I should upgrade all my crap. Alright, relics, uh, getting rid of uh, you, 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 you. Don't want none of that. Then I want you, you, you. Yeah, that was easy enough. More damage in air, on ground, less damage taken, less damage taken again. Got our uh, HP recovery. An extra healing prayer, more health from the healing prayers. The uh, poison stuff also increases, uh, or reduces damage while... Uh, in the fog, and while in or on water. And, of course, the uh, the other thing. This, um, Freda's ring, being able to parry. Um, yeah. Alright, cool. With that, I think we're set with the relics. So now, what are we working with here? We need to enhance this guy to maximum. Maximum level, baby! Taboo Blight. Nice. Nice, nice. Secret as well. I got two of them. Interesting. I guess because I upgraded that one. Um, but yeah, I can also upgrade this one. I've been really enjoying Silva, so I may as well upgrade Silva to Max as well. And that's all of that. And what do we got? I, I want to upgrade the Sorceress. Oh my god, we got 4,000. Yeah, we got plenty. I right, upgrade the Sorceress, upgrade uh, Sigurd. Sigurd, because yeah, I really like those ones. And we may as well upgrade uh, Bird Friend and the Chief of Guardian. These are the ones that I've been enjoying the most. Out of all of them that I've had, I've been really vibing with these, uh, th th this whole setup. And with that, we've got every single one of our, uh, every single one of our spirits right now is at max level. <coughs> That's really good. That's really good. Alright, only four health, only four healing things, but I feel like that's fine. I'm really curious to see how much damage I'm going to be doing with this. Ooh, I also got a little... Yeah, I now got like that somersault as well. Nice. Do I get anything new with you? Nope, still the same old, same old. But I'll take that. Oh. But I'll take that. Hiccup, hiccup. Alright. Oh. This is not what I was expecting. At long last... The White Priestess of the Fount. I was kind of expecting a giant monster, but alright. Coming here was pointless. 
Flee. Be rid of this place. It's too late for me. Probably wouldn't be too late if I, you know, went and consumed all those uh, stone tablets, but... Sorry, gotta get ending B first. Blighted lore. Oh, hello! Look at you, look at you! I mean, come on. That, uh, that chest thing is... It's begging to get smacked. It is begging to get smacked right there. Ouchie. All oh, right, I have this one equipped, so I don't have the uh, as much damage. Sorry, buddy, but uh, as much as I like you, I'm gonna swap over to the, the the hammer, the good old hammer damage. Nice. Uh, oh, and she's down now, so I can just attack on ground, which would be more damage, huh? One of these things. I'm getting so many of these things. Also, I'm getting health back for every uh, like attack that I do. That's really cool. That's actually a really easy attack to uh, evade as well. Ah, uh, I used that attack, but it didn't do anything. I got her down to a third already. Nice. Uh, but yeah, like this thing's summoning monsters as well, which is kind of helping me out because I I get health for uh, every monster that I <laughs> that, that I do damage to, right? So I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm getting a lot of health back. Getting quite a bunch back from this. I'm just going to keep using this as much as I can. As often as uh, as you'll let me. Let unlimited power. Kill that thing. Bring him down. Big damage. This is a uh, blighted lord. Not exactly. Not not exactly the, uh, the the strongest thing I've ever fought in this game. To be honest with you. One of those. Hit you with one of these. How you like that? Yeah, I'm just. I'm kind of just going all out. I don't... That was weird. That was very strange. Whatever. <laughs> I haven't even used a single healing item yet. I may as well uh, use one now, I suppose, huh? Also, we are out of all of that, so I mean... This is just a... Okay, no, it's only around there. It's only around the... Um, the the, the sort of, like, area. Oh, there's, like, a little bit of slowdown as well, considering how... Uh... Oh, boy. Considering how much damage I was doing to that. Alright. Is that even going to hit? I don't even know. Don't even know if that is going to hit, but it's fine. Done. Easy. Suck it, nerd. <laughs> Journey's end. Purify. Keep thinking of uh, Vilify or, or whatever. That's a fun song. Stop. Come no further, or you too will be consumed by my blight. You're smacking its tits? I was. And now it's dead. That was a very easy, <laughs> that was a very easy fight, not gonna lie. Surely you saw many flowers on your journey here. The awful rain of death darkens the, darkening the skies of Land's End. Thriving on the rain, they blossom off my blighted body, the root of the scourge. I can feel the blights surging through my form. If only I had control over its spread, then I could stop it at the source. Perhaps a day will come when I can hold back the blight without it seeping out. Not that it matters anymore. I wish the world didn't require that you bear the burden of the blight. You're the only clone of myself left. Lily, even knowing what you do now, do you wish to remain the priestess of the fount? <laughs> Will you bear the blight together? No. This suffering is mine to bear, and mine alone. Evil blighted child. Now for the true ending? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. That was definitely far too easy. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank you. Purify. Please don't let this be your fate. It won't be. But I'm going to get this ending as well. Please. I'm kind of disappointed, though, how easy that fight was. <laughs> it was, like, very easy. No, my grill. Yeah, the grill was... Was, was he, she, she got all of the all the blight. Can I skip the uh, yeah? I, I, all right, let's skip the credits. I got B ending B. She whispers from the abyss, bound as one. We shall never be apart. Nice, nice. It was easy for me too. Yeah, that was very easy. Hopefully the um, hopefully the true boss, right? <clears throat> now that we got all that stuff, hopefully we can get the uh, oh yo, blighted phantom. Cost worth of a of the blighted white priestess. A phantom of blight since purified, or blight yet to stain the white priestess. Curse that blight should appear so easily reminiscent of tears. What the hell is that? 
What did I just get there? Was that? No, it's, it's that's a that's a. No, it is a relic. Goes forth of such of the blighted white priestess. I mean, it's free, so I guess I'll put it on. Kinda, kinda weird, but I'll take it. Also, yeah, we have this memory now as well. We got uh, memories of the ancient, the purification, ending A, and then the ending B as well. Yeah, cool. Uh, game save, and now I'm forced to return all the way back to the beginning of the game. Oh, I'm dark now. I I'm like blighted. Yeah, it just changes how I look. That's cool. I'll keep it. I'll keep it on for now. We already beat the game twice now, so I mean, I may as well, right? Show off my cred. My street cred. Credentials of the streets. Hey, yo. <laughs> but yeah, now that we got all those stone tablets, let's see what else we can get. Uh, but yeah, I've, uh, I've enjoyed this game. It definitely has had a lot of issues, especially like traversal-wise, but um, like a lot of those will... Th th they got better. They got better as the game went on, right? The enemies were, um... Uh, or like, whenever we killed all, all these different bosses, we were able to unlock new and new powers. And so, uh... It, it, it got better. It definitely got a lot better. But it's still kind of strange how some of these things... It just felt very clunky at the beginning. I, I do enjoy that fact, considering she is just a small child, right? Like, Lily here is just a small, small little child. So, the fact that she was... You know, doing her best through all of this. Restore power to the lost amulet. It makes sense, but yeah. Perhaps performing the ancient spell here will, will, will unfetter the protective power of the white priestess within your amulet. But I'll start with the stone tablet that we've pieced together. Not right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I've not, I've not looked up a guide at this game. The most that I know is that, like, I've seen a thing or two from Varden and whatever Varden has told me. But past that, it's all just been intuition. Protects from the pain of purification. Amulet whose form and power were restored by Faden's magic. Ancients crafted it long ago and dubbed it the Aegis Curio. Power it holds lessens the suffering caused by the blight during a priestess's purification ritual. Then you luck, it will ease the burden purification has placed on you. Rebirth. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, alright. But apparently the blight doesn't actually do anything. Apparently the leveling up doesn't actually do anything in this game. Like, I, I don't know, I was expecting that it to be like, because I'm only 78, right? And I don't know if I've been getting it, like, whenever we purified the bosses, we got, like, more and more blighted, but as far as, uh, oh my god, as far as, like, the actual leveling up goes, I think it was, it, it was just fine. It was totally fine to just level up. Not that you really needed it, I'm only 78 and I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty godlike, not gonna lie. Also, I could just teleport back, but whatever. We may as well walk it back. We may as well walk it all the way backwards. Ouchie. I hit the dude. But ever since that I turned that psycho pa uh, turning pass thing off, it looks like um, streams steadied up a little bit. So I think whatever that thing was doing, which I think it was like looking at or like trying to guess what happens next in the stream, I guess that like help. That was causing some encoding issues. Some, some weird jank. I don't remember that thing being a setting before, so it probably is uh, relatively new. Probably like in beta. Oh, this is also a free thing. Nice. Cool, cool. Alright, now to fight that boss AGAIN, I guess. Something like that. Oh, this, uh, th this thing increases your damage as well? Real? Oh, 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 you're talking about leveling up. And le leveling up just increases your damage? Yeah, but like, I was expect- like, I know that, but I was expecting it to do something, you know? I was expecting it to, uh, like, give me, like, a bad end, right? Like, if I leveled up too many times, that, like, if you reach, like, maximum blight, he was just going to, like, go insane and, uh, bad end. But, evidently, it doesn't do anything besides that. It, it increases your strength, and, and that's, that, that's that. <clears throat> Alright, but now. Now for the true final boss fight? Is it the same final boss fight? I don't know. Whatever. Let's do it, though. At long last, we're doing it for real. Yes, yes, yes. We've already... I already ha I have the skin on, so you'd think that they would allow me to just kind of, like, skip through all of this, but... I guess not. <clears throat> but hopefully there's going to be a boss fight after this as well. 
<laughs> I say I hope it, but at the same time, I did kind of use up all of my everything during phase one, right? So, uh, maybe I don't hope it. Maybe I hope it, maybe I don't hope it. Bonk. Oh, that's a new attack. That's a new attack that I'm, I never saw the first time around. Granted, you, uh... <laughs> you kind of you kind of just died on me. Yeah, over there. Being able to dash midair, just like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm safe. I'm good. I am free. Free real estate. Give me one of these things. Although I don't have as many of those uh, charges as I had last time. Uh, maybe just because I, uh... Alright, no, oh, I'm supposed to dash over there. It's fine. I'm just do one of these then. Do one of these. I could think my skills were not ready yet. Oh well, it's fine. Break! Shut up when I'm talking to you! Shut up! That probably uh, worked, yeah. Alright, cool. Finish you off. First, uh, like, third down. Even though we're a little bit, a little past that at the moment. I love how they keep spawning these things, but like my AoEs are just too good. My AoEs are just too good that it doesn't even doesn't even matter. And broke. On the ground, baby. Another one. Another one. Ow. That uh that, that blast actually hit me. Blast from the past. Hey yo. Alright. Another one. Hopefully there is a, a, a another like section there after this. These things are being a little bit more obnoxious, these, uh, extra enemies, considering. <laughs> I need to get away from that. Also, I should probably, uh, use the, uh, the Umbral Knight a little bit, considering. I don't know. I'm feeling like, uh, I want to keep that stuff in the back, just in case. Just in case there's, um, eh, I've only got one more of these things left. It's fine. We'll just go, uh, just go with it. It attacks, that, that attack tried to attack me on ground. As if I'm ever on the ground. All right, come on. There we go. We still have all of our healing. We barely took any damage. We lost everything on this side, but we have um, all of that. Let's see if anything's changed. Stop, you two will be consumed by the blight. That's the, that's the point. Oh, yeah. Something is different here. Our amulet took the blight, or something. Yo. Oh, look at this. It's all the white priestesses that we found throughout the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. True final boss time. Maybe I should have been uh, a little bit more careful then. Maybe I should have been a little bit more careful about all of the, uh, everything. Ooh. Because, yeah, now we got a second form, and I don't have any of my, uh, <laughs> anything back. Well, I can't still use this one. That's the big attack. Oh, little too far away. Little too far. It's fine. But, yeah, like, that one attack that I got is definitely the better of the one. Okay, that's, that's, that's new. That's a new thing she's doing. Throwing up another one of those things. That's fine. Ow! Why are you just jumping over there for? I need to get out of here. Ooh. Made it. We're fine. Okay, thankfully this one has less health, I think. This one seems to have less health than the, um... Yeah, yeah there we go. Uh, th than the other form. I honestly should probably stay in this one. Should probably stay in here. What's that? Oh, it's this attack again. Eh, that's easy enough. Honestly, I love bullet hells. <laughs> Whenever, like, there's sections like that in these types of games, I'm just like, hell yeah. It feels so much fun. Just dodging all that shit. Just like random bullshit powers go. She's down? What is... Oh, okay. <laughs> that felt anticlimactic. Where's all your, like, powers at now? Oh, I... Oh, it still landed. Still landed, though. Beautiful. You're just kind of, like, letting me have this now. You're just kind of letting me have it now. And there it is. Game, set, match. They kind of just gave up on the last, like, quarter of its health. I used up everything, though. Like, all of my everything is gone. Dawn prayer. Alright, I'll be honest. That was still pitifully easy. <laughs>
Uh, if you didn't have that skin, you'd be clear of blight. I was wondering about that. I was wondering about that. So yeah, I would I would have been uh, normal Lily, but I, I put the skin on. <laughs> it was as if I'd been in an eternal slumber. Not sure if I was alive or dead. The days were filled with nothing but pain. When I awoke, I lay on a black pedestal. I felt a warm touch grace me. No, did we purify her? The tiny white priestesses were holding my hands. The same priestesses who were made to take on my blight. From nearby, I could barely make out the voices of Coven members. The blight transfer rite was about to begin. The priestesses, knowing nothing of their fate, nuzzled up to me. These children would be sacrificed to keep me alive. What was it all for? The time I spent with them was what truly saved me. If I am to pass on a legacy to these children, let it be one of hope, not suffering. Oh, that is pretty. That is aesthetically pleasing. Applause, applause, thank you, Minku. I think we got the true ending now. But how? How is this happening? Could one white priestess alone have such power? Yeah, look, it took my skin off, so I have normal... Normal Lily. No, that amulet. You made it whole again. All the fragments. All the shadows of our history. The unknowable suffering. You're going to bear it all from now on? Aww, that's so cute! I see. You came all this way with everyone. Thank you. For freeing us all. For freeing me. You accomplished what I couldn't. You were never just a clone of myself. You're your own person, Lily. You've grown so much. It's time. I should be going. I'll be watching over you. Oh. I mean, I guess that makes sense, though, huh? Oh, Nei-chan! Oh, Nei-chan! This is a very gorgeous game. Like, I gotta admit, I love this game. Yeah, I I really enjoyed it as well. Like, as much as I would complain about the, like, traversal, we'll always be together. But yeah, as much as I complain about the traversal in this game, it got better as the game went on, which is very good. It is very good. That, that's how it should be. And, uh... Yeah, like, yeah, there definitely was some things about this game that I didn't enjoy as much as other Metroidvanias. But overall, I really did enjoy this game. I thought it was a lot of fun. And we'll actually let these credits run through, because I don't know if we even watched the first credits, considering... <laughs> you know, it was such a not real end. It was such a not a real end. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I did. I really did enjoy this game. Like, as soon as I saw Varden playing this game, I was like, Oh, yo, I've got to give this a try at some point in time. I love Metroidvanias. And the art direction in this one is so aesthetically pleasing. Like, oh, it's it's got like that gothic style to it. And oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And so, yeah, I had to try it. Had to absolutely try this game out. And I'm glad I did. Because it was, it was a lot of fun. I definitely had some issues here and there. Some of the enemies were really obnoxious to deal with. But maybe that was just because of my setup, to be honest with you. Like, it's definitely possible that it's, they were only obnoxious. Because of how I was playing, right? <laughs> so there is music playing in the background, which is quite nice. It might be copyright, though, so I'm going to keep talking over it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It just felt like some things... Like, like they didn't feel correct. And then, like, as I play the game more and more, it's like, Oh, okay, it, it now was feeling better. Like, the girl... Like, the, the, that tiny little girl just had, like, the worst little dodge ever. And I was like, ah, all right, whatever. It makes sense. <coughs> It makes sense considering she's such a, a small child. Oh, listen to that. That's quite nice. The sequel came out today in early access. And it came out today? Oh, yo, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. But nice. Yeah, I did hear. I did see that there was a sequel to this game. 
which we will definitely get to at some point in time because oh yeah I did like this game I definitely did overall I think I did enjoy Hollow Knight more just because of like the the movement in that game felt so nice it felt so good um, also blasphemous I think like those are the most recent uh, Metroidvanias that I've played right it's blasphemous and Hollow Knight and now Ender Lily also, uh, Metroid Dread, but come on, it's Metroid. That's uh, that's kind of cheating. <laughs> that's very cute. That almost sounds like a VTuber, though. That almost sounds like a VTuber singing this song. <coughs> like, I, like, I wouldn't be too surprised if, if uh, Varn over here was just like, by the way, Fauna was singing this song. Like, oh yeah, you know what, that checks out. That, that, that works. That, that makes sense. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, like... Something about Blasphemous and, and Hollow Knight, they had such good movement controls in them. I really enjoyed moving around in those games. It felt good. It felt really fun. I think it was entirely because of being able to walk forward while swinging. Like, if this game allowed me to walk forward while also swinging, it wouldn't make as much sense because the stands and all that. But that, that's like the one movement that I was like really like annoyed with, right? Like, there was a very slight like step forward when you were swinging in this game, but... I like being able to follow through with swings. I like being able to swing and keep moving forward with it. So yeah, Hollow Knight and uh, Blasphemous, I think they might be better games like to play, but this one I think is better at a visual standpoint, like an aesthetic standpoint. Ender Lilies definitely was a lot, a lot more like beautiful, a lot more beautiful of a game. And the music was very good. Then again, there is as well. It is done. At long last, for each, a proper burial. Lily, take heart, you are not alone. The Blight may have taken them, but they are still watching over us. And I will never leave your side. Aww. Is that, uh, is that the, uh, the Onei-chan? Amidst a collapsed world, her words echo out. Thank you for finding your way to me. Ending C. Hell yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. We still got time, so I'm going to probably go around. Oh, even the background changed. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I can even go to New Game Plus now. Cool. I think I want to resume, though. Because, yeah, look at that. Lost heirloom. That was the recollection of one's unblighted form. Oh, so now I can be uh, pure. I can be a pure maiden yet again. Probably can only have one or two. That was Lily. But she had the thing. Uh, Blightborn modes. Toggle these options, challenging modes to tailor your desired game experience. Maligned memories. Prepare for back-to-back -back battles against uh, each previously purified boss. Back-to-back? -back? Oh, God. But uh, I'm assuming we probably cannot have both of these equipped at the same time. Yeah, it swaps between the two. But yeah, like, she had, like, the tendrils in her hair, so... That being Lily was kind of interesting. So yeah, she had, she had those, um... Uh, th those tendrils. Freitas recollection memories of an ancient... I guess because that was a boss fight, right? So... It's so kind of weird that it puts it there, but whatever. I guess we'll take it. Ah, but yeah, we got all of those, all of those done now. Um, oh yeah, and even on this map, it says that we're good up there, that we're done, that we've done what we needed to do. Uh, I probably need to go up though, huh? But yeah, I'm back to being purified. Yeah, like she doesn't have any like corruption on this though, but in that little, um, in that little like scene that we had, she had a little bit of like the the tendril corruption on her still. Chicken all the blight, even with the buffs, it still shows. Ah. Well, that's fine then. I, I yeah, I guess that's fine. She has, uh, she was able to keep her mind and everything. Just has a little bit of scarring from uh, the things that she's done. Actually, I do kind of like. I, I kind of prefer that. I do kind of prefer that. That's um, because it means that like everything that we did was real, right? Like the scars show that uh, the past was real. But oh yeah, that was nice. That was quite nice. Yeah, we're done with uh, with the game now. We're done with the stream, but uh, I still want to see if we can find some of these items. You know, I want to. I don't really want to go for a hundred percent, but considering we still have like an hour of stream left, we may as well uh, mess around a little bit and see what we can find. But yeah, like I don't like the way that the, like the sword works right there. Like you have that little bit of a dash, right? You got a tiny little bit of movement forward, which is nice, but like in Hollow Knight, you can just keep swinging, right? I believe in Blasphemous, it was the same way that you could like keep swinging forward while also uh 
Not like walking, you can walk and move. So it was very nice. Wish that I had some way to get up there. How do I get up there? Uh, probably put the traversal upgrades on first, huh? But yeah, no, it still feels like there's some things that I, I would like to have in like the movement department. Like some sort of like extra jump upward or something. <laughs> feels like there's a lot of things that were up in the sky that are like really difficult to reach. That I would have lo loved to be able to reach, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I've been able to, to, to do that besides using like these things, of course. Uh, I can go ahead and get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. And then which one is for movement speed? Yeah, that one. Slightly increases the movement speed. Also, I may as well get rid of you and give myself this one. Okay, with that I got more movement speed and all that. Some items require combining to get to them? Yeah. But like, I don't know what all I have. It's kind of weird, because like... Whenever I, I... Like most Metroidvanias... <clears throat> I'm thinking about Metroid, right? Like, it's pretty much like you have everything at your disposal, right? So you don't really need to rely on relics to, to get to everything. You just have to have... You unlock the missile launcher, you can then break the missile walls. You get, unlock the super missiles, you can break the super missile walls. You get the um, the power bomb, you can then break through the power bomb walls, and so on and so forth. You, get, you have all your stuff there. It's always at your disposal, you just need to have the resources. So, like, this is... I like this, but it feels like... It kind of, ah, it, it, it felt felt a little strange. <clears throat> felt kind of strange having like the traversal upgrades being part of your relics. I don't necessarily hate it, but I don't know. I, I think I, I definitely prefer just being able to move like normally without having to worry about anything else. But like that's a very small gripe. It is a very small gripe. I, I definitely put this one as far as gameplay and, and like well. Story's really good, but um, as far as gameplay goes, I, I think I'd put this one a little under. Yeah, like that thing right there. Then this little like jump that we you have. I don't know if that was like mandated or like meant to be a, a thing, because like it feels like it was meant to be a thing. Considering like how else are we supposed to get up there? Oh my god, that was so close. Like that was the only way I was able to get to that thing by using those little like that little like dumb dumb with a hammer. And I feel like that hammer was not exactly something that was supposed to be... I feel like that was kind of like an oversight in the in the game development. I don't feel like that was a true thing. <laughs> like, it feels like I'm barely reaching some of these, these, these levels. And I feel like I'm using cheese tactics to reach some of these levels. <clears throat> of course, maybe I'm just missing a relic that, like, boosts my jump even further beyond. Which could be a thing, because there are definitely a lot of areas that I've not been to. So... I don't know, we'll see. Let's go to, yeah, this area now. Let's see what else we can find. Cause yeah, stream is done for the day, but um, may as well, right? We may as well see what else we can get. Cause I don't want to end just yet. Exactly how you were meant to get them. Really? They, they uh, cause what if you didn't use this weapon? What if you didn't use the, uh, the, the hammer? What if you were, ow. What, what if you uh, just didn't like the way that the hammer worked out? Like, that's, that's, that's what's weird to me. Like, if you just did not like the way that the hammer felt, if you did not like the way that the hammer was, was used as a weapon, then you were, like, forced to use the hammer to get certain items? Eh. Poison. Oh, hi. I was waiting for this guy for, like, the entire game, and we never found him. And now I just, like, stumbled onto him. The, the true final boss fight. The River Zora thing. Ah. Uh. It feels like there was a weird difficulty curve in this game, though. I will admit that. Like, whenever I, uh... <laughs> leveled up. Like, whenever I played this game... Um... While I was playing this game, I... The, like, two or three streams ago, I was having some real issues. And then, like, I, was, I had, like, no issues up to that point. Then, like, a w really weird difficulty spike. And then I was just good... I was just going for the other times. Other spirits to help traverse? Hmm, I guess so. I guess so. Still, though, it's very strange that that little, like, jump thing is the thing that you're supposed to, to use. But that definitely did not get explained that you can do that. You just have to, like, notice that you get a little bit higher from that one. Like, I probably would have... Well, I mean, I probably would have noticed considering I like that weapon. But, like, it definitely was thanks to you, Varden, that I even knew that I could do that. <laughs> the incompetent sinner. Yo, he's just like me. For real, for real. I'll grab hold of you and our four, propelling you both some distance. 
Center sealed in the subterranean lab, once a curious and bold man ventured into the blighted and forbidden verboten domain. Blighted form was found sometime later, nonviolent and lucid. Cool. Weird. It's like how I was invincible there for, for a while. They were just was not taking any damage. I don't know, it just feels very strange. But that one boosts me up a little bit. I didn't really use the other, uh, like, because this one does not. That one does not give you any, like, height whatsoever. And I haven't really paid too much attention to some of the other ones that we had access to. Nah. I'm trying to keep an eye on the down low, see if I'm missing anything. I'll see, that's a thing as well. Like, another thing that I did not necessarily like about this game all that much was how the map works. It, it's very old school, so I can't, like, ign I, I can't exactly, um... Uh, not like trash on it any, but um, in, I believe Blasphemous was the same way, but definitely in Hollow Knight, the map that you see over there is way more like detailed. Like it shows you like every tiny little like dip, divot, turn, curve, nudge, nod, everything. It shows you all of that. So it's really easy to be like, okay, this area. Also you can have like place markers to be like, hey, this thing right here is something that I am interested in. This is something that I need to keep in my, uh, in my memory is important. And in this game, it's just like, you either got to remember or just like explore these entire areas <laughs> after you hit, get all the traversal upgrades. Again, like very slight things, nothing that's like game breaking, nothing that it's going to like make me hate the game, but quality of life stuff, right? Quality life stuff that would have been nice to, to have. So I, think, I believe um, Blasphemous had those little like markers as well. God, I can't wait to play Blasphemous uh, 2. Like, I've already played uh, Blasphemous 1 um, myself. Because that game has some nudity in it. So I was a little, uh, a little scared to play that on a uh, YouTube stream, right? So I, I have not. But there's also... Um, <clears throat> Maybe there's Blasphemous 2 that, that came out a little bit after that, right? It just came out uh, recently, to be honest, um, if, I, if memory serves. It came out, like, just a month or two ago. So, uh, quite excited to try that one. Quite excited to try and uh, play that one. It does not have nudity in it. So I believe that is a, um, a, a Brazilian company that made that game. And those, uh, you know, a lot of places outside of the States... They, uh, they use nudity in more of, like, an artistic way, which is honestly very cool. I really like it. Like, instead of, um, you know, like, here in the States, in, in, the, in the America, you really think about nudity, and it's like, oh, it's very sexual. It, it's just, it, America very sexualizes, and, like, very much sexualizes all of, the, all of that stuff. So, uh, it's very interesting seeing just, just, like, it more in like an artistic way. Like there definitely wasn't anything inherently sexual about Blasphemous, but uh, you know I was still kind of worried about how that game was gonna, how how it was gonna work out on on YouTube. So I just didn't do it. I just didn't do it. But Blasphemous 2 does not have that same uh, level. They made it a little bit more appropriate for Western. Well, I mean Brazil is Western as well. So I don't know. More perfect for this. Made it hard to get items or only currency are not required for the endings. That is true. That, yeah, that is true that they're, they're not required, so I can't hate on them too much. But still, I, um, I don't know. It, it, this just feels like a like an oversight or a glitch. This doesn't exactly feel like a a, a method to, to to deal with anything. Oh, well, I was able to parry the uh, the mine that I went through. Huh. All right, sure. Die, die, thank you very much. But yeah, very slight things, very, very slight things. Um, but yeah, also there's uh, Lost Ark. That's another one that has come out recently. Another Metroidvania that I would love to try at some point in time. Don't know when we're going to get around to any of these games, because, you know, we just beat this one. We just beat uh, the, the uh, uh, Ender Lilies. Which was, was quite fun. I did quite enjoy it. It really scratched that itch of uh, a Metroidvania. Down here, maybe? Have I been down here? What was that item? I don't even know. I don't even know what uh, what I got there. It wasn't worth my time, though. Didn't even have to go down there. Eh. 
Eh. But yes. Um, a lost ark. I believe. Yeah. That's that's. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I don't remember exactly, but um, it's something something like that. If nothing else, something like that. But it's another Metroidvania. I saw uh, Rose played it a while back. I think um, I think Frank, uh, the old good old Doctor Frankie, good old Frump, he also streamed that a while back. I didn't look into it too much, considering you know I don't want to get spoiled on it, but it looked quite fun. Was that the MMO? Maybe. I, we were looking into MMOs yesterday, so my brain might be a little uh, a, a little dumb at the moment with that, but something like that. There, there was some game. I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll post about it in the in the Discord later, whenever I get some time. But, yeah, things that I'm interested in playing. Games that I'm interested in trying out at some point in time. Have we been in this one? Yeah, we have. Or yeah, there's nothing else in here. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's things like that. Things like that where I'm just, like, looking around. I've got no idea where I'm going. But I know there's something in this area. And it's a rather large area, so... It's kind of difficult to, like, figure out where I'm going, what I need to do. Granted, yeah, it's probably just, like, a currency item, like Varden said. But, uh, still, I still want, I still want all the things. Especially in a dangerous area like this. Like, I've already killed all the monsters, but I'm still dying. Considering the freaking ground hates me. Yeah, <laughs> being able to parry these things is weird. That's funny. I like that. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, something like that. There's, there's like a werewolf game. I, I, I think the, like the main character is supposed to be like some sort of werewolf. But no, not um, not Castlevania Symphony, Symphony of the Night. That's a different werewolf Metroidvania game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna stream after this. I got a few things that I've been wanting to get around to streaming. Like we've got. I, I knew like whenever spring came along that I was wanting to do. Um, Sonic Heroes, right? I have my, um, just die, thank you. I have my, uh, I have my, uh, 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 th 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 my GameCube. Oh, there it is. There's the item. Okay. Here and up. Um, but yeah, I got Sonic Heroes on my GameCube that I've been meaning to get around to for a long time. But I was like, I don't know, that feels more like a spring game. And it's now spring. And we just beat this game, so it could be another fun little short one. Probably do finish that off in like four streams, four or five streams maybe. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Ah, I went the wrong way. I dashed to the wrong way. Yeah, see, like things like that as well. Would have been really helpful if I had a um, more interactive of a, of a map. But sadly, it's just a giant box. <laughs> so I'm like, eh, it's here somewhere. About this is a bunch of Metroidvanias. I think I posted them around, but it didn't. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, go ahead and post them on up, thank you. I do enjoy the uh, good old Metroidvanias. Always a fun time. Anything about Sonic Superstars or whatever the newest one in Trust Azurevon? Sonic Superstars? Newest one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There was the uh, a new, a new one of those games that came out. Yeah, I got it. A new Sonic game came out that I would like to give it a try, but like, I don't really want to pay full price for one of those games. Those games are pretty, uh... <laughs> Sonic games are pretty standard, you know? Also, I think there was probably the, uh, the update, right? There's probably been an update for the, um, ouchie... Uh, probably, probably been an update for... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna return to respite. I don't know where I'm at, but it doesn't matter. Just need to heal. We did not do a single punishment wheel this 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 stream. Nice. Nice. We're just too good. We're just too good a bit with it. Too dirty. Mmm, the incompetent sinner. Alright, cool. Got that one now. Yeah, four areas down here. And then I got no idea what's in these rooms up here. These things down here are the things that are like the biggest issue though. Uh, I'll stay where I'm at. I'll just go here. To, uh, it's easier to go down than it is to go. But there's not exactly... Uh, I could maybe go... Okay, you know what? Let's go here. Because it's easier to go down than it is to go up, right? So let's try going over here. And then... See what happens. That was very weird. The water, like, splashed because of us spawning there. And you can see, like, it cut off here. Ah, <laughs> uh, weird clipping issues. 
It's fine. Is there a well hidden? The one in the room you dropped from one of the elevators? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, I, I did I did find it. I did find it after uh, a, lot of, a lot of looking around. But yeah, I mean, we may as well try and find these things, considering why not. Bunch of things. I don't know why I'm trying to fight these things. I don't need to fight these things. This was not the correct way to go. This was uh, the incorrect path to take. But yeah, I can't remember what that game's called. I keep thinking it's just something arc. But I can't quite place what uh, what they were going on about the arc. Noah's Ark. The Metroidvania. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. I don't think it's about Noah's Ark. <laughs> but I don't know, it looked fun. It looked pretty cool. Ah, these games are just a good time. What did I even level up from? I didn't attack anybody. No, oh, whatever. I should probably heal up, huh? Should probably these little slime dudes. I swear. I swear. Impossible to see them when you're trying to move fast. And these areas uh, kind of force you to move a little quickly. Oh my god! Seriously, impossible to see. Is that a no? It's not a wall. I was trying to see if that was like a wall that I could break. And I don't think so. Up here. No, I don't think so. What are we looking for? What are we looking for in here? Heal, you fool. Heal. Uh, did I get my health thing back? No. Oh, well, there's one of these things. Oh, did not have uh, the charge that I thought I had. That did a lot of damage. Wow. That, that final boss, I do got to admit, the final boss of this game was very lackluster. Even with the, uh, like, the leveled up version, like the true final boss. Did not exactly live up to my expectations. I honestly probably it was a good thing that he uh, was as easy as he was, or if she was, considering otherwise I would have been in a lot of trouble. But, I don't know. It definitely was uh, kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> kind of an anticlimactic fight. Even having to fight the thing again was just like, well, I got everything leveled up to maximum, right? Oh, here we are. I forgot all about this door. Forgot all about you. All right. What do you got to say, huh? What do you got to say? Verboten champion. Yeah, he's got to say that he's uh, he's dead and uh, he's sorry. Because that's uh, that, that's what's going on here. <laughs> Easy. No. Re. Yay. Purify. Purify. Hee 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 all right, Jack Frost, calm down. Mm -mm. Verboten Champion. Leap upward with a Verboten Champion, shredding airborne enemies with his razor-sharp claws. That actually looks pretty good. Despite being blighted in battle, driven by some purpose, this former knight was able to cling to his humanity. Escaping the stockade, he headed to the Verboten Quarter and entered the Faden's Lab. Savior. Okay, well, I think that probably means that we got all of the, um... All of these dudes, then. We probably have everyone here. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to return to Respite. And we're going to fast travel over there. Yeah, that's probably all of these monster dudes. Actually, we can look at the trophies here. What, what am I missing? We got all of these things. Uh, I guess I should, like, read out, huh? So, Purified Sigrid, Silva, Julius, Elaine. Really, I was supposed to fight Julius and then Elaine? Elaine, Elaine, whatever. That's interesting. Gerard? This does not feel correct. Does not feel like this is the order of operations here, because there's no way that you're fighting Jerod that late in the game. <laughs> he was like the second boss that I dealt with. Uh, Honir, Ove, Faden, the Heretic, every blighted hero, ten five blighted spirits, ten fifteen every blighted spirit, fully enhanced the blighted spirit, five blighted spirits, fully enhanced the Umbral Knight, obtained a relic, ten relics. Okay, so we're missing some relics. Obtained maximum prayer potency, cool. Obtained all chains of sorcery. Uh, obtained findings 24 through 28. Tw uh, 45. All findings. Reached level 10, 50. Okay, 100. That's easy. Th that, that makes sense. Ruined one. Yeah, that does not sound good. Getting level 20, that, that's just, that's grindy. Uh, 10 respites. Every respite. Journey to all maps. Hands of spirit for the first time. Ending A, B, C. Unleash the Spectral Lance's full power, the Giant's Hammer's full power, and restore power to the Lost Amulet. Okay, so yeah, the only thing that I'm missing is being level 100. 
And then I'm guessing collecting more of these relics. I don't know why there's two of them, though. The, uh, the, the questionable trophies. Those, those are always the ones that, like, kind of annoy me. Because, like, okay, what am I missing here? It's a question mark. Well, I didn't get it while I was playing through the game, so, um... What is it? <laughs> what is this thing? What do you want from me? I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, but yeah, that Sonic game, it's, um... It looked pretty good, because it's, it's like your traditional, like, 2D, side-scrolling Sonic game. But it had, um... There's a, a more modern one. There's a new one. Ouchie. So, uh, yeah, I was definitely interested in trying that out. But, at the same time... Uh, I don't really want to pay full price for that game. And I don't think it's went on sale yet. So, I did not have another jump, apparently. Thought I had another jump when I didn't. Oh, well. My poison does a lot of damage to you, though. Youch. Uh, do I want to... I don't know if that's good or not. Ever? Oh no! Did stream buffer there? I guess it probably did lose some bit rates there. Some points. I think the encoding got better, because I haven't noticed the, like, the, the, the buffering circle in my peripherals. But maybe I've just been focused on things and haven't noticed. But yeah, I think the settings that I got here are better visually. It's just there might be some weird, like, uh, like lag here. No, this is up. This is not where I wanted to go at all. Eh, out of my way, stupid fish. Stupid fish. Get out of my way, you stupid fish. I don't know. I do not quite know. I'm quite curious to see how this, uh, this VOD will turn out. Because I did uh, quite a few settings changes. But I haven't noticed any buffering, even though it says, like, error there, so... I think it's better. If I don't notice any buffering in my peripheral, then that probably means that it's relatively fine. Is this really the way I'm supposed to be going? No, this goes up here. I'll go and grab that thing if I really want to. And I say, and then there's a, there's a, there's a buffer wheel right there. <laughs> I also wasn't losing bit right there though. Weird. Weird. I was at 8,000 instead of the 7,000, so maybe it was a little bit late on my end. On my end, but oh well. Is what is. Always something, right? Always something to keep you on your toes. Where am I going here? I know I gotta go through this, but like... How? <laughs> is it down here through the water? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. I was forgetting where this, uh, this section was. There's not even a guarantee that this is going to be where I need to be going either. Like this is just me guessing. Just me guessing that there's going to be something over here worth my time. Maybe there is, maybe there's not. Maybe there's something right there. I do remember us getting that last time we were through this area. Because yeah, we had to hit that elevator, that switch. There's also a thing right there. Oh, it probably just summons the thing, huh? Probably summons the, uh, the, the, the elevator if you moved around. Ouchie. These, uh, these Blighted Warriors, though, they're kind of an issue. Like, they do a lot of damage for a swing. Like, they're more of an issue than the actual final boss. In my opinion. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to deal with you. They got less health, though, so, I mean, I guess that's... That's the thing, huh? But yeah, like, that boss didn't really do all that much damage to me. All things considered. Maybe it's because, uh... I'm a bit of a god? But nah, I, I don't know. Hey, there might just be nothing down here. I don't see anything in this little section, so... Like, this elevator area has something, but... Like, there's nothing for me here. Nothing to do here. Yeah, like, right now, YouTube's, like, buffering for me. But, like, I'm looking over there at my screen, and it's, like, nothing. It's been green for, for, for a while, so... No idea why that time it would be giving me some buffering issues. That might just be, like, my, uh... Computer, like, being a little... A, a little, uh, slow running all these different programs at the same time, right? But, um, eh. Overall, I think we've been doing pretty fine. I think overall, these new settings that I have set up have fixed the, the, the like, laggy. Because that's the thing that was, like, annoyed me the most, was when I went back to watch the VOD, and, like, it was just, like, lagging along. I was like, that's not great. That's not ideal. Although, that is better than if it skips ahead, but... I don't know. Hopefully it just isn't skipping ahead and also not lagging. <laughs> a bit buffer here and there. You know, can't really do much about that. But 
That's that's besides the point. Uh, all right. So the other teleport is all the way over there. Got to go down to. I gotta look through that area and then also go through that thing. So, and if it's not there, then well, I guess it's the easy one. And I just did not go to the easy one because I'm dumb. I didn't expect the easy one to be the one that was going to do anything. Also, I was thinking about uh, maybe I should like up my um, maybe I should up my uh, experience gathering. Considering like, I'm not exactly going for level 100, but like if I reach level 100, right? Uh, if I reach it, I reach it. That's a lot of damage. Ah. I did not heal. That cancel out my heal. Jesus Christ. Those big boys are obnoxious to deal with. Gonna hit this weird fish to get my health back. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah, down here. All the way down to the bottom. Can't remember... Left or right, though. See, these are the things that, like, make it... Make, uh... Oh, boy. I missed all of that. Wow. But, um... These are things that, like, make those, like, camera angles way better. Or, like, the, the, the map... The more detailed maps in, like... Uh... Hollow Knight and whatnot better. I don't have to worry about, like, okay, is it left? Is it right? I can just be like, okay, take the left, take a right, take a left, take a left, and then we're there. Okay, cool. But here, I'm just like, um... Memories. Do I remember? No. No, I do not. I'm, I'm very smooth-brained boy. I'm sorry to say. Have the smoothest brain this side of the Mississippi. Ooh, there's something up there. Couldn't quite grab it. Ooh, I got it that time, though. That was a very long reach. Wow. Anything up here? It's these weird pig things. These weird... I don't even know what... Like, I just keep calling them pigs, because, like, what else are they? I don't like them. All right, well, we do need to go up in this area, so... Let's see, is there anything up here worth me time? It's like a whole freaking thing here. I... Up, attack, please, thank you. Oh, yeah, this guy was fighting something. Calivia's ring, reduces cooldown times. That's cool. That's cool. Also, that was the last thing that I needed. All right, cool. Done with this section, then. <clears throat> I probably was missing a lot of health and whatnot for that fight. So otherwise, why would I have avoided it? Um, got something over here. What we got over there? See, I can only see so far. I can only see so far. Uh, I don't know if I was in the water during, like, any of this. I think I might have been trying to stay out of the water whenever I was, like, vibing here. So, probably there's a good chance that there's something down here that... I mean, that thing... I got that thing, so... Yeah. Yeah, I imagine that I might have been a little hurt going through here the first time. Yeah, look at that. Right there. Stagnant Blight. Still something, though. Still got something. Alright, go ahead and heal up. Uh, probably something. Oop. You jerk. Okay, really? <laughs> Gotta climb on this side. I can't climb on those things. Yee. These guys just have way too much accuracy with it. I'm not even using my traversal like setup. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Die, fish, die. Die, fish, die. Yeah, we'll see if we can find the rest of these things. If I can find all of the, um... Like, if I get the, uh, achievement for, like, all of the, uh... Uh, what do you call them? I don't have any more healing. That is not good. That is actually not good. But yeah, if I get all the... I need to just leave. Okay. Don't risk fight. <laughs> My scared teleport away. Um... But yeah, if I can get all, all of the relics right, that, that would probably be a good place to the call the stream. Mm, so, yeah, let's see if we can find these things. I think I know where I need to go for that one. Uh, considering going down in this area is going down through a lot of poison, maybe what I want to do is just go to the left here. Because especially, I think it's on the left side that I got to go to anyways. Alright, you know what? Sure. As much as I don't really want to do this, I feel like maybe it wouldn't be a terrible idea. So, relics. Um, let's see, what do we want to get rid of? What can I get rid of that I don't really care that much about? Uh, to be honest with you, not really much of anything. I kind of want to keep all of this stuff. So I kind of want to give myself more experience, but like, I like my traversal upgrades, and I like my... 
like all, all of my the stuff that I got equipped, right? So, I don't really want to do anything. Ooh, that dodge was beautiful. That dodge was terrible. Can you stop doing that attack? I know I'm far away from you, but damn, boy. Damn, that attack is thick. Not in something that I wanted. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Oh, lordy. Mm, what you say? Pretty embarrassing how I miss that. Mm, what you say? These dudes are obnoxious. Am I even going the right way? I feel like I'm not going the right way. Uh, the water's not the correct way. But I need to go down, and I'm just keep going up. Sometimes you do need to go up to go down. But I don't think this is one of those times. No, no, yeah, this is it. This is the route that I'm supposed to be taking. So many pathways. So many passages. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. I think I was going through this area as well, and I just was like, nah. Not right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anything down here? Nope, that's just water. Just bad voodoo water. Hootie ya voodoo water. Strange fish as well. This area's got the weirdest little fishies. Going through all of that. And there's a thing there, but we already got that. If it's not in the water, I'm gonna be surprised, considering... The water is, uh... Like, being in this poisonous water is not exactly a good time. That is... Another thing over there. Is there a wall that I, like, yeah. Is this all the way over here to where I was? Maybe. Maybe there's something up above then. Maybe there's something up above then. Ah, idiots. <laughs> I do love that one. You know, something up here. What do we got? What do we got? I know there's, like, that path up there as well, but, like, it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, this goes up to uh, that one thing. Ow. Oh my god, that bug, like, knocked me back up on top of the thing. That is not what I was looking for at all. What am I missing here? What is the thing here? Such a large area with, uh, so much poison. And killing the enemies is not even that big of a deal. It's just the fact that there's all of this, uh, poison water around. Hi, right, bird friend. Do your things. Do your due diligence, bird friend. Oh, did that? Was that three swings? I think my, uh, shuriken chieftain, uh, spirit does three spins now. That's cool. I was gonna be upset if it was just in those boxes. I'm also kind of upset that it wasn't in those boxes. But that's besides the point. But yeah, I've been avoiding a lot of fights in this game, considering I was really expecting... Eh, whatever. I was really expecting there to be, uh, something, right? I was expecting there to be some sort of negative for leveling up. But then there just ended up being a regular game. <laughs> it ended up being normal and leveling up was not terrible for you. So I should have just been A-OK -okay with going through all of the uh, all the enemies. But oh well. Added a bit more of that uh, dramatic flair to it, huh? Added a little bit more of dramatic flair with all that. Let's these things do something. I've never killed one of these things, I think. They killed me, though. Wow. Wow. Final boss did not kill me, but this weird pig that spews poison killed me. That's just embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. Alright, you know what? You're fine. We'll do a bunch of minute wheel spin. We'll do a bunch of minute wheel spin for that. <laughs> We've already beat the game. I'm just, like, vibing now. But, uh... <sighs> That's embarrassing. Embarrassing. I scroll down. Wheel spinner. And what's the number eleven? I think so. I need to add another one. I want to do um. I want to do something, but I have not been doing that. Ten squats. All right, you know what? That's fine. I haven't done squats in a minute. I've been doing a lot of um chest exercises recently. A lot of uh, like dumbbell presses, things like that. I haven't really done much in the, uh, in terms of, like, leg exercises. <sighs> quick little stretch. Quick little stretch while I'm up. Alright. Alright. Shoes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
ません Actually, I think I might have done some some uh, like exercises the other day, considering my uh, gluteus maximus was a little uh, a little sore. <laughs> Don't remember what I did though. Must have done some squats someday whenever I was bored. Eh, it's uh, the the usual. Right, get away, get away, get away, get away from me. I'm moving on over here because I need things. Yeah, I was thinking about like putting the um, the items on that give me a boost to my. Ow. <laughs> that they give me a boost to my. Um... No, no, we're heading the wrong way, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we're heading the wrong way again. It's not over here. It's like somewhere, like over here and then down. Get rid of that and then yeah, over here is where we're going. How can I touch that wall? But I can't touch the other like uh, strange walls. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. That's, um, uh, sometimes whenever I get bored or, like, I have a moment that I'm not doing anything, like, I'm waiting for somebody's stream to begin, or, you know, just, just have, like, a moment of, like, ah, uh, I've, I've finished a, a project. I, I like to just do, um, random workouts. So sometimes I just have, uh, sometimes I'll just do some squats. It's a fun time, though. It's a, it's a, it's a good, uh, like, practical hobby to have, I'd like to think. Oh, yeah, it's down here. I was like, where's the the, the lever? I don't see anywhere. Can you guys stop? <laughs> There's so many enemies. Oh, my God. Like, I know that uh, the, the boss, the main boss, was trying to, like, do it as well. Actually, hold up. You know what? That might be a thing. That might be the thing where I gotta kill that thing and then it'll drop something. So, I don't know. That egg is giving me some weird vibes. That, that egg is giving me some weird vibes, man. Might have to try that. I'll just try and see what's uh, going on with him. What's going on with that thing? Uppy, uppy, uppy. Give me all the uppies. Be kind of nice, too, considering. It would mean that this was not exactly uh, in. in uh... Okay, no, that was just pointless. Just pointless. Yeah, because, like, if I died right next to the thing, that would have been fine. Oh, no. My, uh, speaking of dying, my, uh, my, my bit rate hit to zero for a second there. No, no. Hopefully it's fine. Hopefully it's fine. Like, we're past the point of, like, actually worrying about stream. So, <laughs> this is all just, we just vibing. We are just a vibing. We're trying to find things. I really want whatever this is, though bothering me that I can't find it. Like, oh my god. I don't want to look up a guy. Oh, wow. You kill those pig guys, and they, uh, explode into that. That's kind of disgusting. That's kind of disgusting. Man, all the way in the water. In the water. Alright, I'm legitimately, like, out of ideas, though, about where to look. Like, I've been everywhere. In this section. Oh my god, zero bites again. Encoding, please. Yeah, I gotta worry about that. The poison that they do. I don't know, I've probably been sleeping on the poison. Probably been sleeping on, on like the, the way the poison works. Oh my god. It's real suffering right now. Get out of curiosity. Get out of curiosity. Let me, let me, let me, let me take a little look, see about what we're doing. No, I mean, everything's fine on the, um, task manager side. We'll keep that up for, for a while. Since we're just, like, vibing here, we may as well keep that up on the screen. I don't gotta, like, look at, uh, the, the actual, like, OBS, like, thing. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye on that thing and see if I can narrow down anything. <coughs> Testing while also just trying to find things. Just chilling. Just vibing. But yeah, the next series that we're going to do after this one, I'm not exactly sure, considering uh, hey, Sonic Heroes is up there. Sonic Heroes is something that I want to get into. And that would be like the final of the GameCube games that I have not streamed that I own. I mean, we also have uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, but that's also going to get released on Switch here soon. So I'm not exactly... 
and too eager to uh, do that on the GameCube. So like, I don't know, there's not much of a point. The game will obviously look a little bit better on the Switch, considering it'll be uh, the 1080 instead of whatever the uh, <laughs> the GameCube was based on. I have no idea what the, the, the GameCube like settings were, but definitely going to be a little bit better if, uh, if it's going to be on the Switch. A little bit more high res, right? And so yeah, I mean, I may as well. Moy as well. I think this is the end. Yeah, this is the end, like, section. Is there really nothing against any of this? So I can be... I've killed all the enemies now, but, like, I still have, uh, <laughs> quite a bit of, of potential death here. Even though I've already... that I've beat this area. It's not exactly... I mean, I guess in the water there's nothing. But also, yeah, like, I've been on the, um the top, right? I've, I've been in, down in the in the bottom of the water. I didn't see anything. I guess I should look, like, over here. Maybe there's, like, a little island that I've been missing that has something for me. A tiny little something or another. No, not really. I don't see anything. There's some wall that is hidden ever so perfectly that I cannot quite see. Probably just blight again, which is obnoxious. But I mean, I've killed all the things here, so I want it. I want the thing. I want the item. But yeah, what else could we stream? I what else do I have that I've been meaning to stream? Can't. Uh, I know I, I do have um, Ishin, right? So I got the. Um, uh, is it called Like a Dragon? Maybe. It's the Yakuza games. It's the Yakuza characters, but like more samurai Ishin. And, uh, I want to give that a try at some point in time, considering I didn't really like the, <clears throat> the Like a Dragon version. I don't know, there's something about the, um, something about it just didn't, like, sit right with me. It's turn-based combat, which, you know, I, I like turn-based combat. I should have been totally fine with, uh, how Ishin played. But it just didn't, like, scratch that itch for me for some reason. It just, like, the way that the, the turn-based combat worked. I was not a fan. So, uh, I got that one. I got the, uh, the Ishin, which is going to be, um, back in the original style, right? Back in the original Yakuza formula. So I'm quite excited to play that. Quite excited to play that. That dude is... <laughs> he was so dead, and then he just was, like, caring. Oh, whatever. But yeah, considering it's uh, in the, like, traditional, like, Yakuza style, I'm very excited to see how that's going to play out. I have been wanting to play more Yakuza, but the Yakuza games that I have <laughs> are, are not, like the modern Yakuza games are, I don't know, I'm just not a fan. Not a fan of the, the, the turn base that they got. It's like this weird, like, live action turn base, which is the exact same reason why I wasn't a huge fan of Final Fantasy. Weird live action turn based combat. Like, I don't know. It's one or the other. It's one or the other that I wanted to stick to. Hmm. Don't know. I saw that it, uh, had an issue there, but I don't, I don't see anything that was really causing anything. So why was it saying that I was sending 18 kilobytes? I guess because I was just trying to catch up. <clears throat> I suppose so. The, literally, the hell am I going, though? I don't see anything. I guess back in the water we're going. Like, these dudes don't drop anything when they die, I don't think. I, I, th I don't think. Like, maybe one of them does, like, if you kill, like, the last one or something. But, like, yeesh. That would be, uh, quite obnoxious. I mean, you may as well kill them, though, considering I don't have anything else going on. Don't get any other ideas. No other wise ideas. These guys are just, yeah, the... Oh my god, just... I'm going up because of the, uh, I'm technically, like, in air right now. That's very strange. Ah! One of these. They didn't move towards me at all. Ah, uh, how dare you be smart. How dare you have intelligence. You're supposed to just fall into my attacks. That's not what I want, want to do. No, oh, it's fine. These guys are shrieking. I feel like the shrieking is, is new. I don't remember these guys shrieking before. 
Also, the, uh, I don't remember the, the, the like, yeah, like that junk whenever I, I do my attacks. Okay, yeah, there's literally no reason to kill those guys. <sighs> Just a waste of my time. I don't think there might be something up there, but, like, I definitely can't reach that. I have no idea how I would even begin to reach that. I can't stand on top of these elevators. Nah, I've got no idea. I've been everywhere in this area, and I have not seen a damn thing. Same with over there, so... I've got four areas in this entire game that I have not finished. But I have no idea where any of these things are in any of these areas. <laughs> oh, that's sad. There's like a hidden wall somewhere. They should make remake the Yakuza zombie game. They kind of did. In um, Yakuza... Uh, in, in Judgment, there was a... A Yakuza, like, zombie game. It was the, um... Oh, what was it called? It, it was, um... I don't remember. It was, it was a minigame, though. Like, you go to one of those, like, Sega stores or, like, the VR's place, whatever. You go to one of those those minigames, right? And it was literally, like... It was like those. It was those those Sega... Or it was, like, the, the zombie game. <laughs> Not exact, because Majima wasn't there or anything, but... It was a nice little nod, if nothing else. Let's see, I've got no idea. I've been looking at my task manager and it has been fine, so who knows? Hi everyone, you're all awesome and amazing. What's up, Keg? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in. I think I'm about to throw in the towel, considering, um, I don't know where the rest of these things are. So there's something somewhere, right? I have beat the game. I got all three of the endings. And there are these four areas somewhere in this entire map. Like these, these blue areas. There's four blue areas on my screen right now. They are... The only things that I'm missing. And I've got no idea how to get to any of them. Because, uh... <laughs> it doesn't really seem like there's anything in these areas. Like, I've, I've been everywhere in them. And I've not been able to find a single thing. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I've gotten confused. But we have beat the game. I was trying for 100% just because I may as well. Since I, I had some time. But, uh... Nah has been giving me some some issues because I can't find the things. I can't find anything. How dare. How dare you not let me find things. Yeah, there's something in these areas, but I just could not. At least in these areas up here, I don't, I'm not constantly worried about dying. Can I dash? Yeah, I can. But I can't do another one after that. I don't know. It feels like there might be something up there. But I don't see what it could be. And then there's also, like, all of this, but, like, again, I don't see where I could go. Like, a ground somewhere that's broken, but, like, I don't see any, like, red on the ground that tells me that I can go down. So, there are hidden things around, and I have no idea how to get to them, considering. Unlike, uh, Metroid, this game does not have the, like, power bomb <clears throat> that allows me to just expose all the hidden blocks and whatnot. So there's something around here somewhere that I don't know. It's across the gap? I do not know how to get over there. I have, uh, tried to get, uh, over there. And there's... I see something over there, but... I definitely do not see how to get over there to that thing. Unless that's the way. Unless that's the way. Like, I gotta climb up from that thing by doing some real weird maneuvering. See, I have, like, all of the, uh... Oh. Uh, if I could climb up there on top of that thing, I, I feel like I'd be fairly okay. But I can't. Oh. So yeah, like, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. Like, how, 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 how does one reach that? Also, it says that I'm exporting zero bits again. Does the charge... Wait, hold a second. Does the charge give me, like, more? The charge does give me a little bit, like, more, like, range. That is... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, jump, charge, jump, charge, dash. No, I cannot reach that. Heavy with the wall climber guy? Heavy with the wall climber guy. Are you talking about the, the Gerard heavy? I haven't looked at him. You, you said that all the different dudes have different, like, jumps, right? So, let me look at that. But yes, uh, it's been way too long since I've played this gorgeous game. It is very pretty. It is a very pretty game. But yeah, the thing that I'm having issues with is the fact that, like, some of these 
You gotta use certain spirits to get across. And like... That does not exactly seem like... That doesn't exactly seem like that's gonna do anything. Uh, what does the other characters do? Like, I've only ever been using the hammer. I used him a little- I used Gerard a little bit. Used Silva a bit. But the other ones I didn't really like too much. Didn't really vibe with them too much. I can do three with you. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That doesn't give me, like, any air or any distance. Um... Oof. What does Oof do for me? What, 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 what do I got with Oof? Oh, no, that's, like, nothing. I, I'd, like, fall immediately with Oof. It's definitely another one. Uh, Spear. The guy you climb walls with? That's Oof, I thought. Does he have a... He's got- he does have that. Oh, The charge attack. Okay, I see. So we're supposed to do like a charge attack. Jump. Charge attack. Dash. That- mm. I see. I see, I see. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I see. I see now what you're talking about. That one. Jump. That one. And then dash. And still wasn't enough. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do it from here. I'm supposed to do it from here. That's not quite correct. Yeah, one. But yeah, like, this is very strange. Oh, I still didn't make it. God damn. Like, using those things to, like, get extra air. It's very strange to me. Oh, I can do that. I was able to dash and then... Wait, that's interesting. Okay, hold up. I did this one. Charge. This way. Charge. Ah, oh, then I just went straight down. <laughs> Maybe I could do, like, the, the jump... Do the single jump then instead. But yeah, like, that's the things I don't like about this game, is the, uh, like, this is kind of, kind of strange. Oh, I held onto him just a little bit too long and got the, his dash instead of the, the old dash. Not what I'm looking for. Also, apparently somebody died down there. Whoopsies, sorry. That's why I was facing the wrong way whenever I did that. Nah. Also, he, like, falls immediately. This one, jump, this one, dash. Yeah, I, I can't quite, can't quite reach that. Hmm, can't quite reach that. You say heavy, but like, that's the only attack that I have. I only have my normal attacks. I don't have, I have my normal attack and then I have the, like, the charge version of the attack. I don't have, like, a different, oh. I don't have, like, a, uh, a, a larger attack past that. Unless there has been a larger attack in this game and I just straight up did not notice it. Yeah, I got jump, attack, switch. Yeah, I don't have any um, heavy attacks. So the Metroidvania game list became 43 trailers long? Nice. I'm doing it right. That's the thing that I, I, I'm not a fan of. <laughs> the fact that this is apparently correct. Like, this is apparently the correct way to do that. That is very close. Maybe it's a dash and then a jump instead, considering it is kind of uh, strange. So, like, just like jump, this one, this one, that one, and then that again. I can't. I just can't reach it. I don't got enough, uh, I don't got enough reach. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be that I have to, like, level him up. What I might have to do is level him up so that I can do that. Like, it might be impossible for me to do that right now, with the way that I've got everything set up. Um, some of them you guys have already played through, though? I see. Is that the spirit that works? The water guy? Can I do that? And, um... Oh, I, yeah, I, I did see that he said I could do that, but... <clears throat> didn't realize I could do that in land as well. Man, look at that. Alright, that might be the, the... That might be what I need to do, then. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you don't have to level him? Interesting. This one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, I, it didn't even let me use that. Didn't even let me use the uh, the R1. All right, that one, that one. All right, there we go. Yeah, using both of them together, using them in tandem, that was the way to do it. That was the way to get across this freaking gate. Again, though, like <laughs> the game didn't really tell me that I could do any of that. Well, we got more furious blight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the game doesn't really tell you that you can 
use these as traversal like that. You just kind of have to notice that. Ah, my finger's kind of hurting. My claw method way of holding the controller and doing all those fancy little maneuverings. Meh. Nah. But hey, we did that one. We, we got that one. I still have no idea where those ones down low are. And the only other one is up here. I don't know where that one's at either. So yeah, like this one all the way at the top. Right below the tower alcove. No idea about where that one's at. And then uh, all the way down here. All the way down here in the um, the subterranean lab. I've got no idea where those two are at. I've I've went through the entire area with, with uh, a fine tooth comb. And I did not see a single thing. I did not see a single thing anywhere that would have even slightly have told me what I needed to do. So, alas, I think we must throw in the uh, the, the towel there. And put those ones back there, because why not? You do something real quick, I'll be back soon. Oh, no worries about that keg, because uh, I'm going to be ending stream there for today. Because, yeah, we have done the majority of, of this game. We have done, like, 99% of this game. I'm really, really cucking you with that last, like, 1%, but... Quite honestly, I just have no idea where they're at. So, without, like, without looking up a guide, <laughs> I've got no idea. No idea. But, you know, that's fine. Overall, like, this game, I've had some issues with it. It's very pretty, though. I didn't want to go to an area that's got music, though. Where, 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 can, we, where can we go? Maybe we should go to the beginning. Ah. <coughs> I was just like, maybe it's the main menu, but... Yeah, this works. This works out. Alright. Hide the UI. And we will uh, end it there. End, end it here. Uh, but yeah, so... A couple issues with the game. Early on, like, the traversal things were not great, but, like, that made sense. And they got better, so, like, I can't hold that one over the game. That is just, like, a gameplay. That's just, like, a design choice. Which, I can respect that one. I can respect that one. But, uh... Yeah, like those using the spirits as traversal, that's weird. That was very weird in my opinion, so I don't even know. Raid target as snuff can make. Well, all right, then there you go. There we go. We've got ourselves a raid target. So, all right, then. I have no idea who this is, but Banda said we're going to raid them, so I guess we're going to be raiding them. <laughs> but yeah, before any of that, we've got... Um, we do have... Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, we got Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, again on Thursday. Uh, Friday, we got Dark Souls 2, Drunk Souls. And uh, later tonight, I've even got a collab with uh, Kankuro King. We're going to be doing some... Um... This music swells, and I always forget how like loud it gets. <laughs> but we're going to be doing a um, Left 4 Dead 2. We're going to do that uh, PvP mode again. So, uh, yeah, I'm back. Welcome back, Cake. We're ending stream, because... We did beat the game. I was just trying to get some last minute items. And I have no idea where those other three items are, considering I've literally scoured the entire map. The entire area, and I did not see them. So it's behind some hidden wall that's just, like, impossible to see. But, uh, you know. Yeah, we got a Konkuro collab tonight. Is that a heckin' Moomin's reference? Where? What? When? Why? Where? Hi. <laughs> but yeah. So, Konkuro King collab tonight. Uh, at 8 p.m. EST uh, over on Conqueror's channel, which I should probably give him a shout out, huh? Give him a good old, good old shout out. Uh, a shout out, Conqueror King channel. So, yeah, if you guys are not over there or following him on Twitch, you should go and do that, considering tonight we will be, I will be on a stream playing some Left 4 Dead 2 with him and like six other people so uh, it's gonna be a big thing it's gonna be a big deal and uh, yeah so yeah Legend of Heroes tomorrow and Thursday Dark Souls Drunk Souls on Friday um, something we're gonna be doing on Friday over on Varda and Kaiju's channel probably some more Dragon Ball Z abridged on uh, Saturday as well full week of, of stuff <clears throat> and then we got Easter on this this upcoming Sunday so <laughs> things are going to be happening things will be happening but yes, but yes, make sure you, uh, oh, check out the Conqueror and uh, all the homies, of course, of course. But with that, we're going to be ending stream. I will be doing the raid to, uh, uh, oh, I pressed the wrong one. I pressed control V, or press control C instead of control V. Oh no. Uh, Snufkin, is that the, 
Is that the, the reference? Maybe. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I do not know. But hey, Panda says uh, we're raiding this person, so we're raiding this person. Um, everybody on the YouTube side, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Everybody on Twitch, you go say hi to uh, Panda's friend. And uh, with that, we're going to end stream. So thank you all so much for stopping on by. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next one, all right? You all take care.